What is good, y'all? You are listening to episode 45 of Ooh. the Alternative Facts Podcast, GQ. It's your boy, Bars. Hey. It's simply danger, all right? A.K.A. Mr. President Carnival, A.K.A. if you good, I'm good, A.K.A. <clears throat> that's not mine. I ain't put that there. That's what's up, man. Simply danger, like, like simply orange juice. So, <laughs> man, <it's> simply <laughs> So so we're we're dropping the Felix, huh? We're dropping the Felix. No no that's it. Everybody know because you go yeah because so Felix you go, simply danger. Yeah. Yeah, yeah 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 not simply like like slow though. <laughs> yeah <laughs> like I am Sam not like that. But not I am Sam like radio. Yeah. All right so we gonna start. <laughs> <the song. laughs> I'm gonna rethink the next one. <laughs> All right check this out. Chick Fil A versus Popeye. Do you know a bite? Do you know how this whole beef started in the first place? Nah, I hear the origin story. You got it? Okay, so here's what happened, right? Popeyes drops their sandwich. So people are raving about it, just saying, oh, it's good, it's delicious. Push me. For what? Because oh, nigga, they ain't on me. You know what you mean? <laughs> <laughs> I need my shine too. There we go. There we go. Hey, there we go. Pretty motherfucking you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna give you the origin story of the whole Popeyes versus Chick Fil A beef. Right. And in parentheses, Wendy's. Uh, you gotta make it really cinematic, though. You know, like, in the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> so at, at Popeyes. A, at a Popeyes. Long ago. <laughs> far, far away. <laughs> far in a restaurant far, far away. <laughs> no, nah, so Popeyes drops their sandwich. People are like, okay, this is delicious. I like it. So, I guess Chick-fil-A felt some kind of way about that. Now, until this time, Popeyes and Chick-fil-A has never been in competition with each other. Right. Two completely different lanes. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, all of a sudden, Chick-fil-A puts out a tweet. Chicken plus the bun plus the pickle equals all of the love, all of the love for the original. Popeyes sees this tweet. They retweet it, and on the bottom they put dot dot dot. Y'all good? Question mark. Ooh. <coughs> like it. Right? You straight? So. You big man and look a little bad. That set off <laughs> the comparison of, of, hmm, who does have the better chicken sandwich? That now, there were two different battles going on. That was the no, there's, there's more, there's more, there's more. Tweet and retweet? There's more, there's more. So, they have the classic Ooh. sandwich, mm -hmm. and they have the spicy sandwich. Okay, those are the two sandwiches that are going head to head with each other from both of these restaurants. All right, all right. So, out of nowhere, Wendy's feels that they could input themselves in this argument. <coughs> so they drop a tweet that goes, "Look at you guys arguing over who's the second best chicken sandwich." Oh, <laughs> oh, yes, Wendy's, yes. And hence, the battle was born between. Chicken sandwiches between Popeyes, Chick Fil A, and Wendy's. I love it. I love it. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Thank you. This is what I've been waiting for. You know what I mean? Sometimes I can't decide what I'm gonna eat. I'm gonna check tweets. You know what I mean? I'm mm -hmm. see who got the best buzz. Mm -hmm. I buy taste. I'm just slide over to see you know who got the best zingers. Yeah. So. <laughs> so I did. I did one video. My second video I haven't really uploaded because um, the sound was a little off. But I'll show y'all. Yeah. Because you was crunching the shit in the microphone. It was like, mm, it was so delicious. <laughs> so but, <laughs> so here's the deal, right? First time I tried it, the, first, the Tuesday, when I, when I tried both sandwiches, mm -hmm. I clearly had Chick-fil-A <clears throat> losing drastically to Popeye's. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right? Right, right. And I got the spicy chicken sandwich. So yesterday, I got both of them again because throughout the week, I was watching different people's reactions. Some people were like, yo, Chick-fil-A by far. Some people were saying Popeyes by far. And I'm looking at some of the people that were saying Chick Fil A, and I'm like, "Am I tripping? Is this something that I'm missing?" Mm -hmm. So I wasn't at peace with my original answer. So I'm like, "You know what? A couple of days have gone by. I'm gonna start fresh. I'm gonna try it again." Okay. Went to the drive-through. Drive-through was way, way less stressful than being inside the store, inside the restaurant. So got both sandwiches. Tried them again. So, 
I have both plain sandwiches from both restaurants. Kind of evil. Oh, okay. Spicy one, though. Still got to give the edge to, chip, to Popeye's by this much. You guess it because of the spices. That too, but... Okay, so here's... The best way I can describe it is this. Chick-fil-A has an overall really good put-together sandwich. Whereas Popeye's, the bread was delicious on its own. Okay. And the chicken was delicious on its own. And you just happened to put them together. Okay. And the best way I can describe it is the Chick-fil-A is like a chicken patty in between two bread. Where Popeye's is like a real piece of chicken with the bones taken out mm -hmm. in between two pieces of bread. Okay. That's the best way I could describe it. So, shout out steroids. The chicken was big. Big as fuck. It was really big. Hey, like it's, it's... So speaking of big chicken. No, go ahead. Go ahead. No, it's, it's, it's huge. It's real thick. Okay, I'll do a public service announcement. Church's chicken. Don't get into this race. Please. Yo. Please don't. Yo, sure. Churches do it though? It should be like this. Yo. It would be like, the, would be like the, the, big big the chicken sandwich. Churches would win that fucking battle. Yeah, churches would win. I don't know. Because, no, especially, I like... Yo, church's chicken is better than Popeye's especially chicken. Especially if they put their chicken in between the fucking biscuit. No, though. Maybe. Churches got flavors like that. Papa Churches like has well, Papa's what they have is the, the honey. The honey. Uh, they have the biscuits with oh, the honey baked yeah. into the biscuit. Yeah, the biscuits is delicious. It's right. amazing. And the chicken, forget it. Oof. Chicken is amazing. All right. I'm so if if, 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 if if they do, we called it. Churches. Yeah, that's right. If churches jump in, see the problem is there's not enough churches. And the only churches right. that yeah, I can get to is the ones off of near Swap. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's the only one I can get to. Yeah. That, that's when we add to the exclusivity. So, well, then you have, you have the one uh, a little closer to that. For Where? You. Where? A 441. It's like 441. No, that uh, one's gone. Yeah. That one's gone. Listen. I know which one you're talking about. Okay. I tried going there before and it was gone. You see, if church is going to save themselves. The, yeah, the one, the one right off of 441. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. I was very upset. I, I, I am too now. So the only one you can get to is the one near 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 uh near Swap Shop. I like that. I see where all that sponsorship money's going to. Appreciate you. Now, since we're talking about food, the Impossible Whopper. Yeah, yeah. I've been reading a lot about this over like the last two two three weeks about it dropping and whatnot. Yeah, good opportunity to have it. I had it. I hadn't had it. I haven't had the Impossible Whopper. I tried the Popeyes chicken sandwich. So I've had the Popeye's chicken sandwich. I'll probably get around to it. Um, one thing I gotta say before we move on to the Impossible Burger, real quick, I'm a little concerned by how much, um, what, what would you call it, cosign, mm -hmm. you know, approval has been put on this from black people. Yeah. Black Twitter went on there and was like, it's good, guys, guys. This is one of those things I battle with, you know what I mean? Because I'm black, yeah. right? This thing that I like. Stereotype. Mm. Mm. I, I don't think we should be the first people, you know what I mean? <laughs> Let somebody like Matthew McConaughey come in and be like, this is one good chicken sandwich. But it's not going to be like, boom! It's not going to get the response, though. We, I'm not taking uh, Matthew McConaughey's word for good no. chicken. Yeah, you're right. You're right. <laughs> you're right. But I wish someone would be out there first. But I digress. I guess chicken is chicken. You know, Chick-fil-A chicken seems to not have the same stigma for black people. Black people go to Chick-fil-A is one thing, opposed to black people going like Popeye's KFC. Yeah. So, so that's cool. So that's cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chick-fil-A is a little more neutral. Yeah. 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 But for the impossible burger, <clears throat> I haven't had it yet. I've been really looking forward to, to, to getting it. I might slide through. I was going to leave here and actually go to a <clears throat> play. But I might actually end up getting that instead. But I did have the Beyond Burger from Burger Five. Okay. Okay. I've had, I've had that. Okay. That, that thing. I've, that, never, I've never had that. That thing. Yeah. Okay. You have, I think by itself is cool. I liked it with the fries. I think the pairing is important yeah. with it. Um, for me, the flavor was all right. Um, I don't know how, how to compare it to like a regular burger. I think it's pretty close. Mm -hmm. But I think the important thing for me, whenever we have meat alternatives, is the um, consistency. I think we talked about it before one time. On yeah, the it podcast. really goes into the seasoning. The seasoning is what's important. It, the, the consistency was like meat. It's, it's <clears> tough. <throat> you can bite your teeth into it. You can chew it. Right. You know, it, 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 they did a good job. The Beyond Burger, yeah. definitely don't, check it don't out. Don't let it be yeah. grainy. You know, mm -hmm. you feel like you, you crunching on like, you did say okay. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. What's that, no, I will, I will say though. I will say. Um, 
if nobody told me that the burger I was eating was the Impossible Burger, I would think it's a regular one. Maybe I should try to uh, go into the drive thru like, I would it's like good. the newest Whopper. <laughs> Don't put it in a particular wrapper, though. Put it in a regular wrapper. Mm. Trick your mind. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But, yeah, I, I think it's cool that they're really doing that, <clears throat> you know, to provide some alternatives. I don't know how Burger Five makes theirs. I know for is it uh, vegetarians, mm -hmm. and I think vegan people too. The issue that they have with the Impossible Burger is that unless you specifically request that it is um, made in a separate um, um, a separate oil, a separate fry, mm -hmm. you're gonna get it in the same fry as the regular burgers. Yeah. So mm -hmm. yes. I, for for me, I'm not vegan. I mean, or or vegetarian. So for me, I'm cool with it. Yeah, that's something. I'll probably get that extra flavor. Y'all, um, how those tacos, Burger King. See, right now, real, right now, no, no, that's a real thing. Burger King has gotten so desperate for customers that they're making tacos. Remember, they had hot dogs at one point too. Did they? Yeah. See, I'm, I'm more acceptable to hot dogs from Burger King because yeah, the tacos. Kind of, yeah, you go to Burger King and have it. So this is the funny thing. Taco Bell is desperate to expand its line to get more people. Mm -hmm. So they start offering <clears> breakfast. And the fries. And the fries. And, but you know what though? Burger King is actually pretty good though. I'm not gonna lie, Taco Bell. I can't do that burrito. It's heavy. Either. It's kind of which, heavy. Which, which one have you had? The burrito I've had, had, I've I've had it once. The breakfast corn trap is good. That's the one. I think that's the one. I had that. One. And then I they have the, 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 the breakfast quesadilla. That's good. Those are kind of heavy for me. As that, Burger King's so desperate now that it's going to start serving tacos. Like, people are just infringing on other people's stuff. Yeah. Taco Bell's trying to take on McDonald's. Mm -hmm. Burger King. Yeah, their hash brown looked exactly the same. And too. I'm concerned because I always held Burger King in a higher standard than Taco Bell. If I'd be like, Taco Bell's going to be the last thing you do. You eat it because they open until 3 a.m. and nobody else is. So that's what you do. Or if you're drunk. But for them now to try to infringe on Taco Bell is kind of weird. Because I don't think anybody, I don't think it's trade up. I don't trade down. Definitely. Yeah. Maybe y'all ain't selling tacos. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Even if you sell tacos, you ain't selling tacos. <laughs> <laughs> if I see anybody with a fucking taco from Burger King, I'm going to slap that in. <laughs> Where'd you get that taco from? <laughs> Burger King. <laughs> All right, so. No, I said the taco. <laughs> <laughs> so the U.S. pizza team. Yeah, yeah, you got it to me. I was, I was checking out all the topics. <laughs> <except this one. laughs> I was so curious. I wanted this one. So, it was a Saturday. It was raining. I was home. Uh, we didn't have a podcast. You know, so, just flipping through the channels. And it wasn't a whole lot on. Went to ESPN. And I saw somebody toss some pizza. But, it, like, I, I flipped it. I thought about it when I flipped it, and I had to go back to it, right? And literally, was, she was in her, she was tossing pizza, like doing tricks and shit, like cartwheels, fucking backflips, like while tossing pizza. And they were judging her. And I hit the info, and it said the USA Pizza Team Trial Olympics. I gotta ask, was this on ESPN the Ocho? No. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if you guys know. You guys, you guys know what ESPN the Ocho is? No. So I don't know if it originally started from this, but you've seen the dodgeball? I don't know if it started before this yes, or after. Yes, I remember, remember dodgeball. Yes. Dodgeball was aired on ESPN, The Ocho. Okay. So at the time, I don't know if it was a real thing. But after that, I know for sure it's a real thing because two weeks ago, ESPN had it all day on like Friday, or Thursday, had it all day, nothing but ESPN Ocho, featuring stone skipping competition. Yeah. But so basically, all these unconventional games that are not like official sports. Right. But, the, but at least those are like. But this sounds like it's so those are like stuff, it's a U.S. team. Yes. <laughs> and those sounds at, least, at least dodgeball is some type of you have to yeah. have some type of athleticism. You know, some type of skill. Kickball, you know, stone skipping. Like that. You have to have some type of skill. And you know, to give them credit, I guess pizza dough flipping you got to have skill too. What was the cartwheels though? Because I don't see that in my local pizza shop. It was shop. like a performance type of thing. <laughs> like gymnastics, the mat. That's <laughs> what That's what like, it was. Back flip. <laughs> and then the next event was fucking um, pizza box folding. Like, oh, was okay, see, that, that, no, that's, that's, dude, that's like that's the Domino's commercial. Yes. Yeah, with the time. Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly, just like that. Dude, I listen, and I sat and I watched it. I'm guilty. I watched it, and I was entertained. 
<laughs> I, just I, just right? I just didn't. Yeah. I just didn't understand. I was so confused. I was like, "This is a real thing." And, and yeah, I couldn't like, turn away. It was just like, you know, what? this is stupid. <laughs> but uh, I'm gonna keep looking for a few more. Like, what's the next event? Like, yeah. who deliver the fastest? What was yeah, right? <laughs> Sometimes I like that, you know. So was it fun to watch? Yeah, yeah, it was interesting. It was interesting. I, I don't know about fun. It was interesting. Um, I, I would definitely say the dope flipping was my favorite uh, event. That reminds they me got of pretty it. creative. One chick, she was on the ground. She was like flipping one, and then she started like break dancing. You know, when you like on the hand and you do the one spin. Yeah. And she was like spinning. Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> all right. All right. Yeah. I feel like just combining all types of sports, right. Right? making pizza, yeah. making. It's having pizza taste though. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Didn't get to that point. Nah. Nope. nope. See, so nobody, nobody, nobody tries pizza. Yeah. They, just, they didn't cook. They didn't cook anything. That's when you lost. Like, it was. It was like just dough. It was dough. Um, Piece of flipping thing, the boxes. Yeah, they didn't actually cook anything. I'm gonna say this off here so nobody steals the idea. Okay. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna take it. He just, <laughs> I want to tell you about my table. Okay. Okay. Right. okay. Okay. Cool. <laughs> um, let's talk about that basketball player that got suspended because uh, they found out he was pregnant. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I was like, oh, someone was suspended, something in the system. I was reading through, I saw the picture. I was like, all right, it's going through, going through. And they found that he was pregnant. Yeah. He was pregnant. Yeah. It happens more often than you think. A lot of men become pregnant Dead. during drug test screens. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and at first, at first thing I thought was. He can't was, be the first one that got caught. This, this is the funny thing. The first time I saw it, I was looking at the picture and I was like, I kind of saw features. Is this one of those transgender things or uh -huh. one of the, um, <laughs> uh, what do you call it, the, the um, hermaphrodite things where yeah, the chemicals yeah. are a little bit off? And then I saw the, uh, I read the article and I was just like, really? Really? You didn't learn? Like, it's not just it's your first go around? He's probably having a bad day too, so not only did you find out you failed the drug test, and you got suspended, and you got an unexpected baby. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> you got a baby on the way, you didn't even know. That's, that's what you find out. Mm. You lose your job. <laughs> That's and, crazy. And you, How long is he suspended for? You know, is it a season? I think it's a season or something. Yeah. Like that. Was it worth it? Was, Was it worth it? Mm. Let's talk about Jay Z and the NFL. Yeah. So this this That's this is a very touchy topic. Yeah. Yeah. You heard about the the, the different stuff that's going <clears throat> on and. Oh, that's <clears throat> so for those who don't know, um, Rock Nation. Uh, Jay Z's company hmm. partner has partnered with the NFL mm -hmm. um, on their um, what are they calling it? On their it's not really human rights, but it's um, just social injustice to help improve social injustice. Apparently, yeah, right. So I read the article. I was like, all right, well, there's that's a part two cool. of that deal too. Though. There are several parts to it. So, well, yeah, the, the part two. So the first thing is that, you know, he's going to partner to help the NFL, you know, um, and the communities reach out. The NFL is essentially, as I understand it, they're going to put up the money and Rock Nation is going to head it. They're going to go ahead and you know, use the funds to try to help different projects to talk about social injustice and actually make changes to fix it, you know, a lot of the inequalities. Um, other part of that is that... Um, Rock Nation is also going to be in charge of um, NFL entertainment, mostly the music side. So the concerts now for the Super Bowls and stuff is going to be headed by them. Um, a lot of the marketing and branding as far as for the music and media, when it comes to um, like the music and that side, it's going to be headed by them, which I think was great. And I was like, all right, cool, cool. But there's a lot of backlash that came from it. Um, uh, specifically, I gotta I gotta get her name. The first article I, I read was uh, what's her face on the ESPN. Jay Jamel Hill. Jamel Hill. Yeah. Wrote the first scathing article mm -hmm. about essentially a lot of the articles are saying that Jay Z sold out. Some of them said that this might help. Mm -hmm. The second part of that is that um, I don't know if it was confirmed. When I saw it, it was still just a rumor from TMZ. Okay. Jay Z is gonna become. Um, Majority owner in an NFL team. We don't know which team yet. Okay. Well, somebody check. That doesn't so, help the so case do you, that so he do you sold think, out. So do you think that he's kind of low key trying to own a team so he can get Kaepernick a job? Okay, so with this, right, you have 
Okay, the whole reason people are mad at Jay Z is because last year when the Super Bowl time came around, article came out saying that the NFL was trying to get Jay Z to be the performer, the headliner for the Super Bowl. We turned it down. And Jay Z turned Kaepernick. it down because right. he's standing with Cap. Right. Um, he also criticized Travis Scott for doing the Super Bowl. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, uh, so okay, you have that moment, and then. Here we are, what, six months later, we have this deal. Mm-hmm. This deal was in the works long before that Super Bowl. Right. There's no way this deal was closed in six months, mm-hmm. right? Okay, so you were already playing both sides of the fence there. Two, the idea that he could possibly be doing this in hopes of becoming some type of owner, having some type of ownership in the NFL is ridiculous because you own Rock Nation management, sports management. Mm-hmm. You can't own a team or have peace in a team and manage. That's it. conflict so, of interest. Yeah. So, so, so what they're saying is not a conflict of interest because um, well, he doesn't. Been. He himself is not part of Rock Nation <clears throat> in that way. He's not hands on. So he does not talk to players. He does not do any of the management side. He's he still, doesn't handle the he's still, he's he's still an owner. Very, but he's an owner. But so far, they're saying that he doesn't have to relinquish that. Well, they, I didn't they, realize that he sold his shares in um, the Nets in the Nets in order mm-hmm. to start Rock Nation. Because exactly. right? that was a direct conflict. Exactly. But with this, so far, I haven't heard that it's an actual legal conflict. Well, they, because they, he basically, they're, they're insinuating that he's a silent partner. Well, While the, the obviously, article, the face of Rock the last Nation, article, he's not active in the business. The last article I read, they totally debunked the, the rumor that he could be... Uh, have any type of ownership because of the fact that he's part of the nation. So he's going to have to relinquish one or the other. Right. And he's, I don't think his plan was ever to, you know, be an owner or anything like that. I really don't. I, maybe, maybe his plan was to some kind of way be, you know, um, be able to just get in a place where he can rub shoulders with the execs and front offices and things like that. Hmm. Maybe do some pieces like that, but for to be an owner, yeah. I don't think he'd be able to. And it wouldn't make sense for him to relinquish any of his uh, percentages of Rock Nation just to become an owner because he has some of the most highest paid athletes underneath them yeah. in both the NFL and the NBA. Mm-hmm. I don't know though. NFL money is different. NFL and not, NFL. not only just the money, you got to think about what it means. And I think that if he is in a position legally where they say that he has to, I think he'll relinquish his rights to Rock Nation. Because one, the money. Mm. Especially depending on like, the team he gets. If he gets like a Carolina Panthers, you got to think about how much money they already have. Right. You know, they're a small. They're, they're somewhat <laughs> of a smaller market, but I feel like they're more of a mid-range market mm-hmm. because they're popular. Mm-hmm. They win. You got Cam Newton. You know, you, people like the Carolinas. You know, if you're in that that area or nearby area, you don't got a team. They make a, enough money where they're probably still a billion-dollar franchise. Mm-hmm. Uh, the other part of it is um, what it means. To my understanding, as of right now, and I can correct me if I'm wrong, put it in the comments, there's only one brown owner in the NFL. One. Is it? Jacksonville Jaguars. Okay. Okay. Mr. Khan. Okay. Only one. 32 teams. One brown person. Yeah. So you got to think about what that means. For Jay Z to be the second brown person, of course, one of the first, well, not one of the first, but one of the few black billionaires, mm-hmm. and also the fact that he's Jay Z, he, he, he's a his brand brings money. Yeah. So if Carolina Panthers are making money before, now him being part of the owner, gonna make even more. Okay. So probably more than we make Rock Nation. Though. So why not ask Jay Z? Because this, <clears throat> I get, I get, I get what you're saying. Okay. He he becomes, you know. Part of an owner, uh, becomes the owner, part of a team, whatever like that. But then what? Is that supposed to start like a chain of now the minorities are coming into the league and things like that? It could, especially especially. And I use Carolina Panthers. I got a feeling it may be them. Hopefully it is. Carolina Panthers has a Hispanic coach, mm-hmm. a black starting quarterback, and it's in a primarily uh, a black heavy state. Carolina's tons of black people there. So there is opportunity there. What happened to really Diddy drive that black excellence too. there? And they wouldn't let him. They blocked him. Diddy and Oprah tried to, uh, was it the Los Angeles Rams? <clears throat> oh, no, 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 I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. That's those. Diddy, Carolina they, Panthers. No, no, they were trying to do uh, the Clippers. 
They're trying to do Clippers NBA. Well, I don't know that shit with Donald Sterling was happening. I think they tried to. I, I think they tried to do the Panthers, Panthers, Panthers too because okay. the Panthers uh, got sold. Oh, okay, okay. Because there's some controversy. That's right. Though. He was trying, trying to get his people support him. And I think they did the Clippers too, though. I think that they. But they. This is like a like an association. They have to be like voted in, like. I don't see it happening. Yeah, that when I read it, it was just a rumor. Yeah. So I wasn't sure. You know, I don't know. Especially if, when they still have control over who can come in and out. Yeah, yeah. You know, I don't, I don't see them letting Jay Z <laughs> come in there, especially if he has a motive. You know, if his reason for coming in there is to help the minority community, mm-hmm. I don't see. Them. I think it's possible though, because you know what it is, and it's, it's unfortunate. This is the the other thing we'll get back to as far as for the. The, the opinions on this deal, the right. pros, you know, the people who are proponents, the people who are against. For the NFL, they could actually do this because what it does is it's like a token. Mm-hmm. You see, we're not racist. You see, we, we don't have a problem with minorities. We, mm-hmm. we have another owner. We're trying to build. Mm-hmm. We had one owner before. I know it took us a while, but now we have another owner. <clears throat> He's someone who's part of the community, really in the community, you know what I mean? So they give them that I think token it's fear. and you don't let any more in. It's the fear of but the being overtaken. It's the fear of being overtaken. Right. Because he, we let one Negro in there, all these other Negroes going to rush in and but I don't think everything. They, and but like to Barr's point, they have control over mm-hmm. So I don't think that they're worried about that. Especially Carolina. Carolina's already a pretty truly, black team. But so if, if you put a second one, about, about, that's it. Jacksonville, primarily black city. That's right. But here's the thing. And right? then Carolina, well, we're, talking about, we're talking about black millionaires versus white billionaires. That's exactly the point. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They figure, okay, we can keep these black people happy because they're millionaires, just as long as they're not, you know, up on our level. I don't think they worry about it though, because to Bar's point, in football and out of football, most of the people with the real power are white. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So in the NFL, they still have to be voted in. It's 32 teams. You're talking about 32 owners. 30 owners versus two owners. If they want to put Jay Z in and he be the only one for the next, I don't know, ever. They can do that because they're still going to always have the majority. Same thing in real life when you talk about billionaires versus millionaires. The vast majority of the, the people on the Forbes list yeah. are non-black. Yeah. Primarily white, European. Mm-hmm. Um, middle, um, um, uh, Saudi Arabia, mm-hmm. right? But not black. So even in those contexts, the power is still with them. They still have control. So I think for people who are not in that financial situation, they worry about that. Yeah. You know, white people, um, some, not all, but some white people worry about that change of power. Billionaires don't. Right. They already know. And I, I, got I, island, I got politicians in my pocket, man. I'll Definitely. Just, and, you know, I was listening to um, Breakfast Club this week. And Sean, he, he had a good point. You know, and with sports or even just, you know, just regular shit, um, white people have the power. And it's older white people that have the power. Mm-hmm. So... Our future is really based off of hope, in hopes that, obviously, okay, so you have these these billionaires. Mm-hmm. One billionaire dies, who takes over the business? It's usually family, right? Right. You have to you have to hope. We would have to hope have, that have that, that family is a bit more progressive than right. Like their children, yeah. you know, is a little bit more open minded, a little bit more progressive, or they can just you know keep shit the same way. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And again, it's all still their control. There's yeah. the only way we can get to that level is if they let us. That's the only way. It's a shame. Yeah, I think it's, uh, no, that's, that's definitely true. I think it's part that and also part building. We yeah. have to have progress and we don't necessarily get that. Um, you look at, um, um, gosh, awful names. I took that pre-workout crap. But um, when you look at certain positions where, like you said, they have to let us. Sometimes they have to let us and sometimes we can push our way in, mm-hmm. but then we have to bring people up. And I think that's the other problem with it, is that not all black people and brown people, when they get the opportunities, pull other people up. You know, um, who, who, who's your man? Um, ben Carson. Mm-hmm. Look at Ben Carson, the position he got into politically and what he did with it. Right? Because a white man let him in? Yeah, but what did he do with it? We didn't hear about him going into the, the, the office and, uh, you know, having a staff or right. black interns or right. Spanish interns, like just minority, just colors. You didn't see that. What you saw him do was him and his wife misappropriate funds to buy home furniture. Yeah, yeah. Like, that's right. what you did with it. You got the opportunity 
to really make change and you didn't. So I think that hinders us as well as the fact that we need more opportunities. The few opportunities we get, though, we got to capitalize on. We can't be wasting them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Same thing with Herman Cain. And, but I, and the let's Supreme Court. Let's not even bring up. Yeah. Let's not even bring up Herman Cain. I, I look at. That was a disaster. This this whole info thing. I, you know, Jay Z. He. Did you guys see that press conference he did? Yeah, we were sitting down with the woman everybody. Yeah. And Charlamagne was in there. Yeah. And he. Um, and he said that they edited out certain things. Charlamagne. Yeah, he said he yeah, asked questions that. It was, it out. Yeah, we were asking some pretty tough questions. It wasn't, and I would definitely like to see the responses to some of those. But Jay Z, he, he he mentioned how he's not worried about the backlash because you know there's been plenty of times in his career where people have doubted him, you know, not understanding the details of what's going on, and you know they just had to wait and see. And he used Title for example, mm -hmm. and Title is a streaming service that he put out, uh, or he he invested into because it was already it was already here, but he invested into it. And it was competition for Apple hmm. and Spotify, hmm. um, and that took a few years to actually develop and catch on. So, if you're able to do that, why not try to start a, a, another league, or why not invest in a different league? You know, what I mean? said XFL, CFL. Like, there's different leagues that you can. XFL didn't do very well though. It did, it's but back, it's though. back though. It's coming back, right? It's yeah. back. Surgeons. Yeah. So, so this is the thing for me. And then you would think it would be the perfect time. Right? No, no, you would no, think no. it would be the perfect time, especially with these quote unquote boycotts, mm -hmm. you know, and people who quote unquote don't watch the NFL. Yeah. Everybody says watch the NFL. Yeah. But so, that's because there aren't any other options either. Mm -hmm. So this is this is an important thing, and I'm gonna bring up um, some history. I'm gonna bring up uh, Frederick Douglass. Mm. <clears throat> so those who don't, I'm sure everybody knows Frederick Douglass. Google it. No, who's Frederick Douglass was one of the uh, slaves who was freed okay. and ended up getting a position into the White House back in the, I want to say, 19, early 1900s. Yeah, that would be 18, oh, whatever, whatever. Right? Would, it be, would it be 18? Well, I'm saying, no, 1900s would be 18, the 18s, right? What? The 19s is the 18s. What you mean? Like when somebody says 19th, 19th century, they're talking about the 1800s. I'm not sure. That's, really? I thought Aren't they? Isn't that how that works? Like we're in the twenty first century right now, right? Because we're in the two thousand teens, in the twenty teens, in the twenty. We're in the twenty, 20, 20, 20, 20 first century, right? but it's not the twenty one. It's not the twenty. You understand know what I'm saying? I think so. Okay, so <laughs> you understand know what I'm saying? Like I'm trying. Nineteenth century. When you talk about the nineteenth century, they're talking about the eighteen hundreds. Yeah. No, wouldn't that be the no? Oh, oh I yeah. got you. Yeah, I see you because of the decades. And then I got you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. nineteen was with the twentieth century. Right, right, right. I got you. So that means twenty first century. I'm with you because we're talking about the decades, yeah. not the, the centuries. All right, got you. Okay, all right, cool. So, cool. so does that? Um, I'm not stupid. I promise. <laughs> <laughs> so I think about that. I think about this. Um, one of the things that he had mentioned in um, talking about the people, the problems people have with it. Mm -hmm. So talking about that, why didn't start another league, right? <clears throat> Why did he start at XFL? Why does he get down with the CFL in Canada and try to push that, right? Mm -hmm. Nothing's more popular than the NFL. Right. You can definitely do those. Is your impact going to be as big? I understand you want to make it as big. That's an uphill battle mm -hmm. for someone who's established. And we just talk about billionaires versus millionaires. Yeah. It's the same thing with these other leagues. Absolutely, bro. NFL has billions of dollars. But again, he's now, he's now neck and neck. If not, Tyler may be popular than Apple, more popular than Apple Music at the moment. Maybe. Okay. Definitely amongst the black community. Okay. A thousand percent. Yeah, I have, I have time. So, using that same mind frame, that same idea, that same um, blueprint, mm -hmm. yeah, the NFL is the pop, most popular right now. Mm -hmm. But again, that's because there's been no competition for it since it started. You give it some competition, and you have a valid backing behind it. Well, the CFL was supposed to be competition. It was supposed to be, but yeah. it didn't have it. I mean, the CFL still goes on. It's just not. But, a, but it's like no, I said, no one's, no one's checking for the CFL if the NFL is on. If the NFL is off, but if, if, you might, you might if, if, Ka if Kaepernick went to the CFL, you don't think people will start watching the CFL just to, just to see, just see what happens for a little bit. For a little, for a little bit, right. but that and that's where it ends. But that so, so be, this is the thing. But that would be a good start, though. This is the thing. Not every blueprint fits every situation. So I feel like if it starts with Kaepernick. And then all of a sudden somebody else pops up. Right. And somebody else pops it. up. But it's like it's like um this is probably a bad uh, comparison, but I'm using it anyway. It's like Bellator. Mm -hmm. A lot of people that have watched UFC, now they're seeing some old UFC fighters show up at Bellator and they're like, oh well let me let me start watching Bellator. Right. Mm -hmm. I ain't seen this dude in a long time. Let me watch this. And Bellator is 
pretty exciting to watch. See, but that's pretty close though. It's close enough where UFC started growing. Yeah, so now it's kind of like more at a height, right? Mm -hmm. But it started growing and Bellator was the beginning of that anyway. So that was already established. They were kind of, Bellator is really like the true cage fight. Mm -hmm. And then UFC came after that. So it's a little bit closer compared to going the other way. So like if UFC, if Bellator was it, if well, no, Bellator no, no. was it, and then if UFC came UFC say, was around for a very long time before, before Zufa bought it, where it was just no rules and all that, but then Zufa bought it and it was regulated with all these different rules and, and mm. stuff like that to make it like a more legit sport. Yeah. So now, I guess it was bought again by some entertainment company, but right now they have an official, they have an exclusive deal with ESPN Plus. Oh, that's all their programming is on ESPN, yeah. but then Bellator has a deal with Spike, mm. and all their stuff is, is going through, no, not Spike, uh, Paramount, or the Paramount Network, so their stuff is being played everywhere, okay. and the popularity is growing a lot. Yeah. So think about it this way, because that's, that's a good example. Think about it this way. The White House, right? We have an American government here, and... Nothing for nothing, it's not perfect, right? right? Especially, it's less perfect in some administrations than others, right? But this is a problem. This is the system, the White House, the presidency is the system. So, we can do stuff like uh, Colin Powell. We can come up through the ranks, we have power, we can make change, we can influence, and try to build mm. on the diversity, mm. right? Or, we can start our own nation. Like Killer Mike. Mm. It's a good yeah, idea. Easier easy said than done, though. Right. right. And you have to think about it. It's a, it's a good idea. You can get people to join over time. You know, you can definitely get numbers and stuff, but you're still, it's not going to have the same impact. You have to think about it. If Barack Obama decided, I'm not going to be a part of the system, I'm going to do my own thing, mm -hmm. we would never have a black president. And that's what I see about the NFL. And one of the things that Jay Z said is that these are next steps. The so, protest so he's getting important. his foot in the door he has to, to kind of understand the inner workings of the organization. So if he did want to start his own thing, he has that inside scoop. No, I think it's actually to take over. Oh. It's to, to rise up because, like I said, we don't have any black owners. Mm -hmm. He becomes the first black owner, right? He gets in maybe with another owner. You know, maybe as another team that's a little bit progressive, I mean, a little bit more progressive, you know. Maybe it is. Well, they're not in San Diego anymore. They're in Vegas. So it might be a little different. Right. I'm trying to think of another team that's a little bit more progressive. Um, I don't know. I don't, I don't want to say New York, but anyway, I got to think of another team. If any of you guys have them, shoot it out. All the ones I'm thinking of are like Red States. And, so. <laughs> I'm like, Philly, nah. New York, nah. Mm -hmm. But you think about it. Jay-Z gets it, right? He's an owner. The team does well. The team's making mad money, right? He, he gets to another owner, right? Mm -hmm. The guy's like, you know what, man? I'm, I'm kind of done. You know, I don't got no family. You know, if I gave it to my kids, my kids run to the ground. I'm looking to, to find somebody. And then Jay-Z goes, you know what? I have a group. I'm not going to show you the group. We'll take care of it. Mm -hmm. Right? We're friends now, whatnot. He puts Diddy on, or Diddy's group on. Three mm -hmm. brown NFL owners. Right? You know what I mean? And that's how it, it starts. Okay. Then we start adding and adding. And, this is, and to digress, this is what I think is trying to happen. This would be the ideal thing. But to digress, I hope this happens. Mm -hmm. And that's the thing about a lot of controversy with people who are against this, like Jamal Hill writing the article, essentially paraphrasing what it's saying is that Jay-Z is sold out. As you mentioned, he was against it before in the, the Super Bowl and um, criticizing other people, like Travis Scott, for participating, right? And I think that what I don't like and I really bother me about the several articles and a lot of the criticism was from black people and I feel like that's not something we should have done. Mm -hmm. I, I understand that she's a journalist, I understand Charlamagne's a journalist, there's a lot of people who are journalists and um, mm -hmm. have opinions about stuff and they get it and it's confirmed and they want to talk about it because it would be the first to get the scoop and the attention. But I think as, as brown people, that can be a hindrance to us. We're hurting each other by doing that. Mm -hmm. I think we need to be on the other side of it. I think let somebody else break it. Let Vanity Fair or one of these other publications, people break that news, and then you come back with, whoa, 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 we don't have all the details. We don't know what this is going to look like. Because everybody jumped on and was like, oh, Jay-Z's selling out. Kaepernick's still have a job. And there's, there's a lot of different points you can see this, right? Yeah. So the first thing in the interview that they had, right, they were like, Jay-Z said that 
we are beyond kneeling. That is done. That's part of the process, right? You protest to bring awareness and then you make change. And he's not wrong. We did bus boycotts, you know, back in the, the, the Jim Crow era, back in segregation. Mm -hmm. We did boycotts for the bus, right? Until we got the same rights on the bus, until we got legislation. Mm -hmm. We weren't just doing the bus boycotts just to do them, you know what right. I mean? There had to be next steps. And Jay-Z is saying that we're done kneeling, we're on to next steps about making change. Now, that's from Jay-Z's perspective, mm -hmm. right, of what he's saying, right. just based on what he's saying. From the NFL, I don't know if it's genuine or not, but I'm gonna say no. It's a corporation, right? It's big business, it's big money. Yeah, but they I messed mean, up with the Kaepernick thing and it's bitten them. Views are down. So for them, they look at it and say, you know what? This is gonna be a PR opportunity. Right? See, but I'd be more satisfied if they would admit that they made that. So it's, so it's, so tough. So it's tough because, see, Jay Z, okay. So here we are, uh, fresh off the news of Jay Z being. Uh, first hip hop billionaire. You know, we know Jay got money. I feel like Jay didn't need to grab this bag. It wasn't necessary. And that's where the sellout part comes in at. And yes, it's his bag to grab. It, it's, it's his money. So well, is, but is it, but do you think it's the bag that he was going for? Or do you think it was the angle and influence and power that he was getting in this position? You think so? I, I think it was both. I think it's a 50 50. And it's funny because we brought this up on the podcast before. If you're walking down the street and you see a dog, are you going to pick it up? Mm -hmm. He's a billionaire. Billion dollars is good. You know, it's better than one billion dollars? Two billion dollars. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, I'm going to grab the bag. Now, if I can grab the bag and also do something for my community, great. I don't know if it was primarily but, but the you, bag. But you think, the bag, you think the bag was first on his mind? Is that, is that what you're saying? I, I, don't, I don't think yeah, so. Yeah, but I, I think that when Jay-Z does stuff... I think he does what he thinks is best first, and then secondarily he thinks about how. But that, that's the thing. Money. He we does think. what's best for what? I, Social justice and the right thing, or the bad? I think it's for, I, I believe, and I would like to believe that it's for doing the right thing. Right. And then we, the money comes in. But that's where the disappointment comes in, mm -hmm. and that's why people so quickly jump out the window and call him a sellout. But why? Or just, just because we trust Jay-Z. Right. We have faith in Jay-Z. Well, okay. The we optics. Think, the optics. Is, this is the thing. We haven't seen anything yet. And this is not nah, issue. It's like, oh, well, the, he, sell, he, the sellout. The sellout is okay. You turned down the Super Bowl, right? And you, you said that you know the NFL didn't need you, the NFL needed you. You don't need the NFL, right? You criticized Travis Scott for doing the Super Bowl. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Then you turn right back around and you become in charge of the NFL Super yes. Bowl. So check this out. As you pointed out, right? This deal was in the works for probably at least a year. Maybe so, more, right? But this is the thing. If Travis Scott performs, if Jay-Z performs, where's the leverage? There is no leverage. How does the deal get done? But Oh, no, 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 no we're fine. We got the image. See, we got black people But, I, but I see what you're, there's, I see there's what no you're need, saying. There's no need for a deal. So I don't think he's a seller because he said that. I think that we're setting the groundwork for the deal. We had the leverage. Jay-Z was right. So do you think the criticism was like... I don't need them. He was like, okay, this is... This is wrong, this is wrong, this is wrong. I'm going to step in and show you how it's really supposed to be done. Is that what you're saying he's trying to do? Essentially, a lot maybe of that's criticism, where the criticism came the from. The criticism was the fact that the NFL was not doing anything. Okay. They were not trying to uh, address what happened with Colin Kaepernick. They weren't really doing a whole lot for the whole, uh, the, the whole community. Their HR, you know, the whole PR thing that happened with Ka Colin Kaepernick and the, the stuff with the owners meetings that came out and comments that were made and uh, the opinions they had on people kneeling, it just, it didn't set well with people, right? right? They didn't do a good job. So they figured they'd bring Jay-Z in. Jay-Z said, I'm gonna keep the leverage. I'm not gonna perform in your Super Bowl, no. I want real things to happen. And he, I think he felt that in order for things to happen, he had to be a part of it. And this is the other thing that, that a lot so of- So it's baby steps. Right, it has to be, it has to be progress. <clears throat> and the other thing that, was interesting I wanted to discuss is that a lot of people, including Eric Reed, uh, one of the, the players who was kneeling yeah. on Kaepernick, a lot of people are like, oh, Jay-Z is doing this deal with the NFL, Colin Kaepernick doesn't have a job. Two points to that. What, what a lot of the articles didn't seem to mention they left out is Colin Kaepernick won. He's, he, he's not playing, but he won. 
Because, yeah, so he got a settlement. So the NFL paid him X amount of dollars. We don't have the details on it. We probably never will because this is probably a disclosure agreement, right? Colin Kaepernick won. The NFL had paid him restitutions for blackballing him. They essentially admitted that they blackballed him by settling. They had more than enough money to keep it up, but they realized the evidence was mountain and mm -hmm. this was going to get bad, so they settled. That was never mentioned. So a lot of people are like, oh, well, he's still not playing. Don't know. He got money. So, they, the NFL had so, to so they're assuming the settlement that he they were wrong. So he won already. And so so they're group, assuming so people are assuming that because Colin Kaepernick doesn't have a job, he quote unquote doesn't have money. Not realizing that he did get paid during the settlement an undisclosed amount. No, that's not that right. He not may not money. No, no, I, no he I, has, I don't think he has that they, contracts. He yeah. has money. So, so is, it, is it the fact that he wants to play? Yes. Yes. And then okay. people I think a lot of people don't feel that justice was served because he doesn't have a job. Taking away the fact that he's paid for the fact that they kept him out. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it's, it's, a, it's a small part of it, but I think it's, it, it's important to note. Uh, the other thing is this. But did he, were, were we kneeling so Colin Kaepernick could get a job? Was, no, was that the objective? We were kneeling for social justice. Right. So thing. now we're working on social justice. So I'm not saying that what Colin Kaepernick did wasn't important. If Colin Kaepernick did not do it, he got he the did, ball rolling. Yeah. We would not be here. He was the start of that. Yeah. So you definitely don't want to discredit what he did. But to Jay Z's point, these are next steps. But is it this a is win? What we do is it a win if? Because there's two ways you can look at it. You can look at it as a win because NFL admitted wrongdoing and then they paid him whatever. Right. But you can also look at it as hush money. Like, look, we understand we're screwed up. Just take this money and shut up and leave. Maybe. You can see it that way. I you think know what I, mean? I think for Colin Kaepernick specifically, that was a win. Okay. Because he set out to bring awareness to social justice. And he did. That's a success. That's a win. Unfortunately, it did cost him his job. I hope that he gets on another team. I really do, but he probably won't have. But he do you, did. Do you he, think he fulfilled his objective? Do you think there was some behind-the-scenes deals with a lot of the NFL owners that if they do get him on a team, that they'll suffer some type of consequence, and that's why they're afraid to touch him? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's part of the evidence that there definitely was um, collusion. Right. They had audio, and they had emails mm -hmm. of. I don't think they had any direct statements, but there were things that were implied. That alluded to. Right. That maybe you shouldn't do this. This could be bad for us. Wink, wink type thing. And it was a, they got enough pieces of evidence for Kaepernick's lawyers to be like, listen, we got you. Mm -hmm. So you guys are going to have to pay up now or later. And NFL was like, we're going to settle because they realized they were in trouble. Mm -hmm. um, the other part of it, too, is that for, for what's going on with this deal with Rock Nation is that these are the pieces for it. And my thing is that no matter, I'm going to say no matter what the NFL's uh, motive is, if the motive for the NFL being a corporation, which I think is, is, you know what, we have a bad PR issue. We need to handle this. This is the best way to handle it, right? Fine. If you're going to give me money, you're wrong, all right? You're an NFL, you're wrong. You're going to give me money to right your wrongs. Do I care? If I'm going to use the billions of dollars that NFL gives me, knowing that the NFL keeps minorities out, right? Mm -hmm. If I go ahead and take their money and I build better schools in minority communities, I provide lunches to school kids, I provide more police training in brown communities, I do things to influence to make sure that minorities are hired as police. If I do all these things to improve social injustice, is that wrong? No, it's not wrong. I don't give a fuck. Dirty money, clean money, money is money, and it's not about what the money is, it's about what you do with it. That's cool, that's all well and fine, but we don't have these details. We don't, so we this, don't, this is the funny thing. Right. This is so all why, speculation. Why, why, right, right, so why? Why are we, this is my, this is my issue, and th there's a second part to it too, talking about Kaepernick, but this is my issue. There's a lot of rah-rah about wrong and right, opposed to writing articles and to putting media to put pressure on them to do the right thing. Criticizing, saying that this is wrong, awful, sellout. It's not the way. You have to say, you know what? I see what they're going at. I see the NFL trying to fix a PR nightmare, which is fine. Tell the truth about that. And we're going to have to wait and see what Rock Nation does, but we need to keep them accountable. We're going to keep checking in. We're going to actually see the progress of their projects. But right now, a deal has just been made. But we I don't, think even, know part we don't of the, even know if they have a rollout for the projects. I think part of the irritation is the fact that 
seen Jay Z on video with that. Um, what's yeah. his, what's his it, was just, it was just really shady. To, just, to, for him to be like, you know, like all happy about the situation and smug mm-hmm. about everything because he was playing down the whole Colin Kaepernick Kaepernick thing. I feel like that's what people are irritated with. Well, because here you are sitting with this guy that probably was one of the main people that was advocating for Kaepernick to not have a job. Yeah. And here he is laughing with Jay-Z as if everything is all good. I definitely get the body language and the smugness right. and that bothered people. And I could definitely understand it because it seemed like they was hanging out and laughing. Yeah, like, right. He was like yeah, friends like, and like, like, so, so I definitely get that. I think about speaking on Colin Kaepernick, I don't think legally he's able to because, of the, because of the deal. I don't think Jay-Z is able to talk about that at that meeting. Okay, that's because cool. that's part of that settlement. Okay, so, so the one thing he the talked about. That, what about the fact that they said, "Now, I, this, these words didn't come out of out of Jay's mouth, but it came from Jay's camp, saying that he spoke to Kaepernick prior to this deal being finalized." So this is and the thing. Then, and then the girlfriend out. came out and said, "No." Right. So, so, did. so time out, time out. I'm not trying to hear anything from the girlfriend because uh, it's not the first time that we've had this. We're supposedly Colin Kaepernick had been speaking with people. And then his girlfriend comes out and says something completely opposite. I don't know if you guys remember, um, was it Philadelphia Eagles? I think it was. There was a team, or is it the Raiders? There was a team looking to bring in Kaepernick. Mm. And apparently he was talking to the representatives and it was cool. And his girlfriend came out and said some crazy stuff that supposedly blew up the deal. I don't know for sure. I don't like hearsay. Mm. If it didn't come from Colin Kaepernick's mouth, his Twitter handle, I, I don't want to hear it. Yeah. Nothing against her. But I always want to get my information from the source. source. You know what I mean? If I tell you something, you tell what's name. Right. You might hear it different. You might use you know a different vernacular mm-hmm. or something like that. It might be a misunderstood. Well, right? Yeah, misinterpretation. Right. right. So I. F- that's another thing that's interesting though, because well, I don't, I don't you know, know if he talked to him recently about it, yeah. or he talked to him back in, like you know this could happen. How do you feel about it? You know what I mean? Or if he talked about recently, like this is gonna happen. How do you feel? How or you or this? it could be a situation where he just didn't feel like involving her in, in the details. Maybe he didn't tell his girlfriend what was discussed between him and Jay. Maybe so she just made the assumption. Oh, they didn't talk. Maybe, but this is the funny thing. It goes beyond that because um, after the interview where Jay Z said he's beyond kneeling. Colin Kaepernick came on Twitter and basically said that we not be on the internet. Right. And so, I didn't, so I didn't care for that though. No, but that was a conflict though. So yeah, that, that, that is a conflict because it makes it seem like they didn't talk. Right. It makes it seem like what the girlfriend said is accurate. And this is the thing I didn't like though. I didn't like that Colin Kaepernick did that. Mm. And this is the same thing I said about Jamel Hill and all these um, uh, other African American, uh, just, just brown people really, yeah, it's been too. Mm-hmm. Uh, we need to talk. And then decide what we're going to do as an image to the world. Mm-hmm. So for that is a conflict now. And this is the whole thing about how we come together and say how we're going to do something. And I'm not saying it's on Kaepernick. It might be on Jay-Z. Jay-Z might have been afraid. But where's the, it might have messed up the, where's the communication at though? Because if, if Jay's plan is to um, you know, uh, help push forward with social injustice and Kaepernick is right now the face of it. How do you how do you not entwine that? How do you not involve him in some kind of way? How do you or at least give him a heads up? So that way this doesn't happen mm-hmm. and he comes out and says, No, we're not beyond dealing. Yeah. Because had they had a conversation, I'm sure he wouldn't have said that if he knew what Jay's plan was. So this is so this is the thing. I'm not sure where the communication broke down. It looks like it probably did come from Jay mm-hmm. and Jay's camp. It looks like it. We don't know for sure. But I didn't I think that the deal represents progress. And I understand Kaepernick probably feels some type of way about not having a job. Yeah, you got the settlement, you wrong, but it probably didn't have the end result he thought mm-hmm. it would have. So you might be a little salty. But I understand. I would be too. Mm-hmm. But I don't think that's the way to, to kind of handle it to say that we're not on the same page. If I'm upset at you, I'm going to call you and say, Jay, you fucked up, bro. What's the plan? What are we going to do? Mm-hmm. I, like you said, he's the face of this movement. So he has to get him in there. Regardless of what the NFL said. The NFL may have said, listen... We can give you all this power, we can give you all this money, you have all this flexibility to do whatever you want to do, but you can't have a cap. Yeah. I don't know if that was said, but I don't think Jay should have let that happen. Hopefully, hopefully it doesn't. Hopefully down the road we see Kaepernick inserted yeah. into these campaigns. I, I sincerely hope so. Mm-hmm. Even if they have to break some sort of clause in the contract and pay some sort of m- money to, to the NFL for it. Mm-hmm. But it has to happen. But to say that we are beyond, not beyond, to imply, he didn't really say it, he implied that we're beyond, not beyond kneeling, I don't think it was a thing to do. Right. I feel like 
the communication probably faulted on Jay Z's side of his camp in Rock Nation, but two wrongs don't make no right. Mm. And one, the truest thing that Jay Z said during that meeting was that this it is about next steps. Mm. It is about how we implement. It is about how we get better. Now that we have, we're in a position to do better. We need to do better. Mm. It's not about continuing to to protest. And Jay Z didn't say that they shouldn't stop protesting. He was just saying that the protest is cool. Right. We're focused on the implementation now. You can still protest. That's still your right. I have no problem with that. We're focusing on this aspect. So you can have two fronts. So maybe Colin Kaepernick was saying, well, you know what? I'm still going to protest. That's cool. That's fine. And maybe that was what he was saying. And maybe it got twisted or, or whatnot. But, you know, it's hard when you have text. Mm -hmm. And you're looking at tweets and stuff. You're not sure how he said it. You're not sure if he was saying, you know what? Um... You know, read all my brothers, keep protesting, keep the pressure on. Right. Cool, good, you probably should. Even with the deal being done, you probably should. Because the whole thing is that making sure this deal pays in spades. It's not going to be a, a PR win for the NFL, mm -hmm. and we don't got, get anything but some photo ops and, and videos to show. Right. So, that's that. Wow. Okay, so, how long do we give Jay-Z? to show us his plan? Um, that's a good question. I mean, NFL regular season's coming up. Um, I would probably say, uh, I want to say immediately, but the type of changes I'm looking for, I don't know, I'm trying to think of events where they can really show it. Uh, yeah. Probably the first game. Because yeah. the, the first game is one on, is it on Sunday night? Sunday night football, the first one? Yeah, or but I mean, that should be it. That should be it immediately. We need to show something immediately. That I, very first I don't, I don't expect it to happen. Set the pace. Because this season, I, I, I assume this season is already planned out. Listen. I assume they already have this season planned out. So I don't think, I think whatever is happening with Jay, we'll see maybe next season. That's not acceptable for me. I, I need to see something right now. You're going to have to insert something. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying ribbons for Kaepernick or anything like that. I'm going to see... Commercial promos, you know how they do the promo for I think Monday Night Football. They have um, it's not Faith. They have Faith Hill out there who sings the Monday right. Night thing. I want to see uh, somebody else. Mm. I want to see Beyonce do that, or uh, Janae Aiko, or somebody like that. I, I want to see it immediately. You know what I mean? I want to see them when they do the. Uh, sometimes they do the flyovers after that and tell you a story about you know someone who's a fan. Cool. I want you to do a story about a fan who was around during segregation. You know what I mean? Right. You don't have to retool your whole program, but I want you to insert these things so that we know that, you know, the NFL is not just all white anymore. Mm -hmm. That we do care, at yeah. least enough to put this money behind this and show you. All right, yeah. That's I want it immediately. I don't want to wait six months from now, three months from now. Nigga, commercials don't take that long. No, they 30 don't. second slots? Come on. You're right, they don't. So I think the pressure should be on. I think that uh, the, the criticism, I understand people have opinions on it, I would prefer the energy to be focused on keeping them honest. I just I want I, I, just think it's I want them to put the pressure. I want them to make it, even if it's not real, if it's a PR thing, I want the media to push it to make it real. I think it's convenient. I think it's convenient that um, you know, not only do you have the social injustice, the second half of this deal is the fact that Rock Nation is in control of the entertainment around the NFL now. Yeah. yeah. The, the events, um, shows, concerts, whatever, halftime shows and things like that. We know where uh, the next Super Bowl is. Mm -hmm. It's in Miami. That's probably going to be one of the biggest Super Bowls in a very long time. I want it to be super black. Monetary wise. It would be nice to be super black. I, I want the main performer as much as I don't like him to be Kodak Black. Well, he's, he's going away for a while. Know, so. Yeah. Know. yeah he's yeah. going yeah. away for a while. He just played good to the gun possession. Oh, I remember yeah. the thing. He's like, hey. Federal. He should have. Federal. Oh, because the board of... Yeah. 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 So, definitely no Kodak Black, thank God. Um, Yo, God. I'm trying to think of someone who represents like that. Like niggas, you want a you want a nigga? No, 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 because I don't want black young stuff. I'm a watermelon nigga out there, jigger doing this shit. Nah, I don't want that. It's like an upstanding kind of, but someone who really represents. I don't know. I just, I just, I, from all, from every angle that I'm looking at it, man, without the details, it just doesn't look. It, it looks, it looks like a money grab. It looks like a money grab. I, I trust Jay. 
I'm hoping that he, you know, he has our best interests at heart, not just his own. You know, um, hopefully he justifies it, what he's doing right now because he's he, 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 he recently he's been speaking a lot about legacy, and if this doesn't go the way we're expecting it to, it's gonna tarnish his legacy. Yeah, I sincerely hope, and I'm sure he's listening because he listens to all our podcasts. Yeah, definitely. I, I sincerely hope that he sees this monumental opportunity to do the right thing. Yeah. You know, we're talking about the Hurricanes, we're talking about the. Um, Oh gosh, this other guy was really, really bad. He's a Supreme Court justice guy. I'm gonna get his name. I'm gonna get his name right now. But there's these monumental opportunities that we have to really make change, and we don't. Right. And um, I just, I just, I just hope this is not, you know, not another one of those situations. What if he has Kanye at the next halftime show? Kanye, kind of Kanye is the best, I, the uh, best person to have. The, the MAGA situation. No, that's not gonna be the thing to do. That's not no compromise either. That's not no compromise. No, not him. Definitely not. It's not a good idea. Reuniting, we watch the throne. Yeah, yeah let's let's reunite someplace else. <laughs> it's not a reunite on the NFL stage. Not a good idea. All right. Well, I mean, all we can really do right now is just wait, and see what happens. Yep. Clarence Thomas. That's who it was. Right. Clarence Thomas, Supreme Court Justice. Okay. Yeah. Opportunities. African Americans have had positions of high power. Mm-hmm. Haven't done anything to bring this up. So, that's not that case. Yep. so we, we've talked a lot about Jay-Z. Mm-hmm. Let's uh, shift gears to Snoop. Snoop. Talk to me about what Snoop said about S- wanting double women to O-P- D-O-double-G-Z. respect themselves. D-O-double-G-Z. Yeah, I thought that was the What's up with that? Yeah, so Snoop was on Breakfast Club earlier this week. Um, and he made the statement of women respecting themselves, not showing their bodies off, you know, uh, being smarter and brighter, you know. Um, what is this nigga trying to do? It's, it's, it's the funniest thing in the world because this is coming from the same dude that said, we don't love them hoes. Mm. Do you, you know what I'm saying? Do you remember, mm. so, mm. do you remember our school days, okay? This is the same guy, pimps up hoes now. This is the same guy that had the players ball. You know, stood next to Magic Don Juan. Yeah, you he know, was rolling with a wild pimp. Yeah, like yeah. you are a pimp. Putting okay? in a three piece suit and shirt and something. You hair. you yeah. had you had contract deals with Hustle Magazine that had videos. You have there, yeah, there's, there's there's videos that he hosted. Snoop Dogg presents. Whatever, whatever. Style, whatever. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, because I'm gonna have all you want too. You know you know what? They should check my out. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but I mean, like, like you are <clears throat> the symbol of hip hop pimpage. Hip hop hip hop pimpage. It's pretty accurate. Yeah. Um, how, how are you telling it, women? That's the best way to describe it. To not show their bodies and not use sex as a weapon. You know, it's funny you say that, and I'm wondering if it's like kind of an old head thing. Mm-hmm. Because with Jermaine Dupri, I think we talked about that. Like, oh, was, it, right, was yeah. it marketing for his, his project? Or did he actually like feel that way? Uh-huh. For like Snoop, yeah, for a long time. Like probably past the time he was supposed to. He was still doing that pimp thing for yeah. a long time. But now that he's really getting up in their age, you know, I wonder if he's reflecting. You see, you see him doing the Snoop Lion thing. His daughter's twenty one. That's what it is. Oh, that's what it is. His daughter's twenty one. Oh, okay. <laughs> hey man, I, I, I would. He's I would specifically to her. <laughs> I would have said. I would have said maybe we could attribute it to him. You know, growing as a person. You yeah. know, realizing his old way of thinking and, and evolving his way of thinking to today. But yeah. that's really that's really yeah. nailing it. Because yeah, this whole probably like, his daughter. They asked him, uh, you know, what his opinion was on uh, the cucumber thing. Because I don't know if you, the cucumber you know, we, we did the cucumber challenge, yeah, yeah, yeah. but it's, it's gone. It's gone. Awesome. It? No, 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 no. We, no, we, we never did. We the cucumber spoke cucumber on the cucumber we spoke challenge. About it. We spoke on the cucumber challenge. It's kind of, we spoke on the cucumber challenge. <laughs> Since we last <laughs> spoke on it, though, it has progressed. Um, and it's no Jeez. longer just women practicing their deep throat skills. See, it's too popular. We gotta stop. No, we gotta stop I'm cutting the cameras off, turning off the mics. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. It's, it's too popular. Evolved from, from deep throating to keep them. Oh, yeah. yeah. The yeah. podcast is, you, did you hear what he said? The podcast is too popular. We started talking about the challenge and it skyrocketed. It just blew up. It's, 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 those people. So what are they doing now? Yes. How's it move fat past? Well, what did we cause? Listen. 
to some pool parties that happened, things recorded on IG Live. Um, it, it, are you familiar with, uh, what is it, is it, uh, Sneaky Sanchez, or the extra Sneaky Sanchez? Foot and mouth disease. No, I heard about it. I've heard of it. Doesn't, doesn't, don't yeah, kids have it? But what does that, what does that mean? Like, it's, it's like, like it's, when kids put their feet in their mouth and they feed dirt? Stuff, stuff like that, right? Yeah. Okay, so, um, or even uh, a little bit more, okay, you want to go sexual, you do, what is it called when you go from top to bottom? Oh, God. Top to bottom? Yeah. What you mean? Like, like front to back? I think I know. Oh, this. you're talking about, uh, it has the same. You're talking about. You're talking Turn about the, into lips. Yeah, they're talking about when you go to the bank and you get money. What's that called? G? What, what are those letters? I think it's like three letters. D, 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 T. Oh, it's down to. <laughs> what is it? It's, it's something so close. B, no, but there's another term. Yeah, what is it? Oh, there's another it's term from, too? It's from back to front. That's that's putting it delicately. Okay, ass what is it called? Mouth. Yeah. Mouth to ass, ass to mouth. ATM. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, what's another? What's another word for it, though? No, I, that that was it. Oh, oh, you just didn't want to say it because I told you about where you get money at. It's called the ATM. <laughs> 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 okay. Oh, all right. I got you. I, know, I, I, I didn't put the acronym. I was just like, here's a real way out of that. I was like, no. <laughs> yeah. So that's um, the cucumber challenge has evolved. It is now we are now an ass and mouth and. Ass to mouth, mouth to ass, ass to mouth, back and forth. Back See, why forth. couldn't why couldn't it just go straight to the vajayjay? Why did I have to? There, there was something that did that also. There was something that did that I also. I guess it's not as much of a challenge, is it? <laughs> 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 My thing is, this is getting further and further away from a challenge. So the, so the cucumber thing we already talked about not really being so much of a challenge, but by comparison, <laughs> it's not like really challenging to me, but this ATM thing, what's the challenge? To see if you can't make a face afterwards? Yes, yes. <laughs> see, you can't make a face. It's like, I, I, oh man, mm. talk about talking salad, right? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Strawberry. And what do, you, what do you do with the cucumber when you're done, though? Like, yeah, with a spoon. Do you throw it away? Nah, you, you throw it away. Good frog. Just rinse it off, cut it up, put it in your side. I mean, you can't Are you going to rinse it off? You already ate it. Sort of. Uh, Right? But you gonna chop that up and leave it inside for tomorrow? I mean, hey, it's probably better the second time. <laughs> <laughs> that's horrible. Oh, oh man. That's horrible. I think, oh, that's gross. I think we have to put a warning at some point. <laughs> Listen, you squeamish, you eating right now. Oh, man. Yeah. Teach fast forward to the yeah, two. Yeah. I don't want to be like Snoop. I don't, I don't want to have, I don't want to have a daughter. Be a womanizer my entire life. Have a daughter change once she becomes the age once you know that's the player you know that's the player's curse right age appropriate oh yeah that's the player's curse yeah yeah yeah, yeah. absolutely yeah. absolutely yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yep yep prepare for it dude. what prepare for it <laughs> it's the reason you saw it nigga. <laughs> 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 What's the next topic? <laughs> All right, so we're gonna we're gonna move on to the next musician. Takes a bit. We talked about Snoop already. <laughs> um, I want to talk about Missy Elliott and Rhapsody. Hey. Okay. Missy Elliott dropped a new project. That. I didn't get to hear the one. We've been ago. waiting for her to come back. Huh? Six six songs. Possibly Mad six songs. Yeah, yeah. Mad it's, it's, it's a bit different. It's a bit different from what you would expect. Is it though? But it's entertaining. I heard one more. Like, like you. I went into this expecting, okay, another crazy Timbaland beat that nobody's ever heard. No, no, this she, this was like grassroots hip hop. This is well, and most of it's her production. Mm -hmm. You know, um, it's only six songs. This is the EP. You know, it's been what is what do they say? Uh, they say fourteen, 14 years, years yeah. something like that since yeah. her last album. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. You know, and she, I mean, it's hopefully it's, there's a warm up to a missy, full man. length. It's, like an LP, you can't help but put it on and dance to it, and you know that's that's what we know Missy for. That's what we, I can't wait to see her VMA. VMA's, yeah, that's gonna be great. Her voice has been dope though too, though. Like I don't, it's been fourteen years since the last album, yeah. but like her features have been pretty dope. Yeah. I like the features she did with um, Lizzo. Lizzo, Lizzo, yeah, yeah. I, I saw a video. Lizzo. I saw a video about her. Yeah, yeah. Lizzo, Lizzo, I Lizzo, Lizzo. Real school. I, I really like Lizzo. And you saw you say you saw the video? Yeah, yeah. You saw it too? Yeah, a lot. 
It's a lot of old line. A lot of what? A whole lot of ass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So that's, that's a good way of putting it. <laughs> Hefty. Yo, mad respect though. Like Lizzo. To have that stuff, to have that type of confidence, man. Bro, her whole team, man. She's ill. She's Yo. ill. She's ill. Yeah. I, 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 I might shoot my shot with Lizzo. I might. That's how to get you. Hey, to listen, get you. she plays the flute. She can rap. She can twerk. She plays the flute. Like, she's yeah, pretty athletic. Like, she can she do dances. Was, was that in your window? Professionally. Is that in your window? No, no, she literally she knows how to play the flute. Yeah, she, oh, knows, she, like, she, but, she went to school and. Orchestras and all that shit. She like, probably she, knows how to play the recorder. Yeah, <laughs> 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 the tuba. Just blow my trombone. <laughs> <laughs> real obvious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, just right on the nose. <laughs> or the face. No, look. Um, Rhapsody. <laughs> yeah. Rhapsody wrapped her butt off on she this new project. Yeah, she always does. She is like, one of the most slept on. Lady MCs that we had. Yo, so she's one of the most slept on MC. Period. Period. To her, 100%. just because for her to be for her to be able to like go toe to toe with Kendrick. Yo, yeah. You see the, the lyrics, the respect. Oh my gosh. Um, oh, this album. Amazing. This album is called Eve, and I don't I don't know if it's named after Eve because every every track on this album is named after a prominent black woman, right? Throughout the history or whatever like that, whether it's uh, sports. Music, um, uh, uh, journalism, or whatever like that is is you know black women, um, and it's named after them. So the album being called Eve, I'm not sure if it's based off of the actual rapper Eve or if it has if it's another the Eve of something, something to come, or maybe or, Adam and Eve. Maybe it maybe. could be it could be Adam and Eve, yeah, like first woman, that. first lady. Yeah. First lady. It could be that. Yeah. It could be that. That's okay. Who's, who's cool. about that? Yeah. Um, but yeah, man, she's she's dope. The fucking the album is dope. The concept is dope. You know, especially like how she. I love what she did with Cleo, the song Cleo, and it's basically it's basically her diss track mm. to people who you know overlook her when it comes to rapping or when it names their top female MCs and shit like that. And she doesn't. And she's left them. off the list, you know. Yeah. Um, but it, yeah, it's just it's just dope. It's yeah. awesome. Man, skills, man, respect. Man. Definitely. That's what I said. I wanted to. Um, Big Rhapsody up on what she just did. Yeah, she, so, she does what she does. Shout out to the little brother also. They got back together and just put out a great album. You know, it's been a minute since we've heard from them. Um, Jeezy just dropped a new album. Some good music out there. What were you saying? You said we need a, a Jeezy Ross collaboration album? Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Ross, that would be amazing. Ross dropped Port of Miami 2. Jeezy just dropped <laughs> TM 104. They both got tracks on one another's um, albums. And since since they've squashed their beef, and even before they squashed their beef, they had a couple of songs that they were on um, that were dope. Mm -hmm. And then after they squashed their beef, they had a few more songs that were dope. I haven't heard of that one yet. So I right. think the whole album would not be great. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Didn't I tell you? I told them the last time. I said. When the light's on, don't bring your ass in here. Yeah. Right, you did. We only come but, what, a few days out of the month? A few days. Give us those hours. Tell them. Anyway. I'm fired. I'm fired. We're going to have to. We're going to have to. I'm not happy with the services. Right, but, so. the, the first warning is, it's coming out of your check. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Second warning is, yeah. nah, I just think we should just take the whole check. We should. Yeah. 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 Split it amongst us. Yeah. That makes so sense. we don't fire them. We just keep Making it seem like it works and it's not paying. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, hey, um, my payment, I'd be like, yo, you gotta hit a payroll about that. Yeah. I'd be like, y'all do payroll. And just be like, nah. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta contact into it. They do it with computer systems. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's move on to. Um, okay, so have you guys been keeping up with a lot of the politics that's been going on with the, the different candidates and all the things that are going on with. Uh, Trump and Biden and Yang. First of all, I was, I was just talking to Bars last night about how I really like Andrew Yang. Mm. Yeah, what I you like really about like him. him. What's, what's his? What's his uh, I mean, name? you know, you know, you know, his uh, his group, his uh, fans are called the Yang Gang. That's dope. Yang Gang. I would like to join that. That's not Yang Gang. Yeah, that's not Yang Gang. Gangster. Yang Gang. Yang Gang. Yang Gang. Yang Gang. <laughs> I'm gonna put on a song. Put on a song today. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, and, 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 and he's he's all about this <laughs> universal basic income thing where he's he's a strong believer in putting a thousand dollars of every um, American adult per month. Yeah. And he says, and people are like, oh, well, how is that going to happen? Like, how is that even possible? And apparently he did the number. He did the math. He did all the numbers. Mm-hmm. Also, math is an acronym for Make America Think Harder. Yeah. yeah. A lot of people love that. So I thought that was cool. Is he Asian? He's Asian. Do you say A-Asian? I said, is he Asian? I thought you said A-Asian. No, I said, is he Asian? He's, he's an Asian man who likes uh, math. He says he's the opposite of Donald Trump. Which I'm assuming he means Donald Trump is a white man that doesn't know how to read. He's just he's just, <laughs> so he's, 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 just he's just gonna ride the stereotype. He's just gonna ride the stereotype. Oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. An Asian man <laughs> falling right into that <laughs> likes man. Yeah. Okay. Um, you say when they when you lean into it, lean right into it. Yeah. So I like Andrew Yang and I like uh, Bernie Sanders is to me. Bernie Sanders is probably one of the only people that can get on that debate stage. And single-handedly destroy Trump, no matter what he says. Yeah, so Trump will throw some throw some jabs, but Bernie is so sharp that he'll shut all that down. Did you see the last debate where the guy was like, "Oh, you don't know that if that's true." About it. He's like, "Yeah, no, I wrote the damn bill." So, like, so funny thing. So, so there's two things. Andrew Yang. Andrew Yang is very, very smart. I don't know if it has anything to do with Asian. I think he just thinks. <laughs> <laughs> he's an entrepreneur. Yeah. The thing about Andrew Yang is he's very intelligent. I think he definitely should have a position uh, in the White House. Yeah. In the administration. yeah. If he doesn't get the, the, I, I the candidate, I don't think he's going to be a good president, though. I don't think he, he should get a position in the cabinet. Absolutely. Oh, definitely. Very intelligent guy, but I don't think he would make a great president. Not even a running mate? Oh, I don't no. Know. Not even a running mate? Mm-mm. So, um, the thing about your running mate is that they have to balance out, right? They have to usually pick up something that you lack. Um, when, you, when John McCain ran, they decided to go kind of the extreme um, to get uh, Sarah Palin in there because Sarah Palin was this exuberant character and John McCain was this more kind of contemporary. He was known as the Maverick, but you know, when he spoke and stuff, it wasn't a lot of crazy stuff. Yeah, very, very sensible guy. Really, big respect to, to, to John McCain, man. Mm-hmm. He, he's a good guy. And that just kind of didn't go right because she was, wasn't very smart. No. Her personality was great, people liked her, she was relatable, but she didn't have the other capable factor that people fought with. Right. Um, so for, for Andrew Yang, I feel like he might, maybe he would have a chance if he had a very, um, uh, a running mate that had a lot of personality. Yeah. If he happened to get to that level, he'd need someone with the personality. So you think he doesn't have enough personality, but he's sharp though, because every question people ask him. Yeah. Because you know how like, sometimes you're, like, a, a candidate will get asked a question that they're not ready for and then they'll stumble over their words and then they, they start going over some memorized mm-hmm. talking points to answer the questions and whatnot, whereas Andrew Yang, you ask him a question, mm-hmm. and he goes, okay, so here's what the deal is. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Oh, he, he, he has no hesitation. Mm-hmm. But he has no so he knows what he's, he's talking very, about. But he has very no personality. Analytical. Yeah, and that's the whole thing. And uh, unfortunately in America, that's one of the most important things. Right, that was one of the, well, that was one of the things that attracted everybody to Barack. Yeah. Most, most, oh, yeah. Most importantly, yeah, he yeah. Was because he didn't have as much experience. But he yeah. had, you know, the swag. He had the talk. He, the vernacular. He was able to talk, and you know, um, like you said, he had personality. Yeah. yeah. And the second thing to for, for for Bernie Sanders, Bernie Sanders definitely has personality. Yeah. Um, but oh, some yeah. people, yeah, the, but yeah, the, 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 the there are a good it's amount the of people. age. So yes, it's the age. It's not so much that he's okay. old. It's um, how he acts. So he has personality, right? Everybody loves Bernie Sanders. Everyone looks at him like kind of like your your, your old grandpa. He was white, you know. <laughs> very energetic, you know, hands whatnot. Very passionate, right? You can never say Bernie Sanders is not passionate and doesn't believe in what he says mm-hmm. and what he wants to do. Um, <clears throat> the thing about Bernie Sanders is that when I'm looking at him in these debates, and maybe because it's his second time around, um, the stuff that he said doesn't have as much power. I think in the punch. Um, not just because it says the same thing, it's just that they'll ask him a question, right? Mm-hmm. And he will not necessarily answer the question. He'll answer another question of what he wants to say. And some people could respect that. Mm-hmm. I don't need you to just kind of answer the question. And I did see that. I really enjoyed the fact where he was like, I know that I did because I wrote the damn bill, which was great. Because right. I like to see the passion, right? But here's the thing, but here's the thing about those questions, though. Because it's been proven that a lot of these questions are framed a certain way mm-hmm to, I guess, fit a certain agenda for the people that are, um, 
how do I put it? The people that are part of the panel. The moderators. Right, the moderators. Yes. They're, they're trying to approach it a certain angle, whereas Bernie sees past that and is like, look, I know what you're trying to do with these questions. Mm. I'm going to make my point. I'll answer the questions if it's necessary, in my opinion. Uh -huh. But I'm not going to I'm not gonna fall for the little trick that you're trying to... But I guess this is the you thing. You trying to convey. Because I'm watching it, and there's some questions where I'm like, Bernie, what the hell are you talking about? Because... It's like they asked one question, and maybe as a viewer, I interpreted the question one way. Mm -hmm. And like you said, he already made up in his mind what they're trying to get at. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, but at the same time, are, there's, there's certain questions away. you can't answer in 30 seconds. Yeah. Give me your whole policy, 15 seconds. Go ahead. Like, that's not realistic. No, well, but you have to, though. You yeah. have to go to your major points, and that's all part of the debate. And the other thing is this when you watch Bernie Sanders in both debates, how many moments were you like, wow? Like for Andrew Yang, absolutely, we have no idea what this guy says. But when he talks about the details and working out the math, you're like, wow. This you got it all figured out. I got a lot. You know what I mean? Uh, when uh, Kamala Harris and Joe Biden have their sparring, we talked about it because there's a wow. See, moment. but that's the thing. Elizabeth Warren they, is another one who had these moments where you're just like, wow. Mm -hmm. Right. You don't really get as many for Bernie Sanders as you did the first time you ran. Because these, these were not necessarily new concepts. I don't these know. are the same concepts different, as always had. No. But it was different because I think the political landscape at that time. It was fresh. You know what I mean? You was doing a lot of the so-called socialist stuff. And uh, now we've already kind of seen it and it's the new normal. We're not doing traditional politics anymore. Yeah. So the stuff about free healthcare and stuff I think is great. Um, when I look at Bernie. I, I like how he started. His I, I think Bernie is solid. I think he's yeah. solid. He's a solid I think he's character. solid. I think that um, I really want Kamala Harris to win. Yeah. And I want her to have somebody as a running mate. Um, I wouldn't mind Elizabeth Here's Warren the thing, though. though. She another thing, Elizabeth Warren. I like I like her. Kamala Harris. I like her a lot. Personality. What is it besides her being black? Mm -hmm. Besides her being a woman, what is the one thing about Kamala Harris's policy that stands out to you? What can you tell me about her policies? About what what does she bring to the table that she wants to bring to the presidency? As president, what is the one thing, what is like her stable thing? Like, like everybody has a thing mm -hmm. about them that they want to bring to the table. Is thing like decriminalization of marijuana? Is I think it's just, no, but, but, it's just... No, but, but is, that, is that the thing that she's yeah, bringing to the yeah, table? Yeah, I think that's her major thing yeah. because she was a district attorney. Mm -hmm. Okay. I mean, she's a prosecutor, sorry. Okay. She, yeah, she's a district attorney. She's a prosecutor. So I think that's her main thing. Mm -hmm. But for her, I understand what you're saying, that there's one thing that stands out about her, like... Uh, right, like, for example, Bernie like, Sanders, Andrew Yang is... The universal basic income. Mm -hmm. um, Bernie Sanders is the the healthcare and the um, the student debt elimination. Right. So that's the thing. Before it was the student debt and healthcare thing. Before, uh, what I think that we're we're seeing now more so than we saw before is that some of the candidates are not sticking to one solid thing because mm -hmm. they don't want you to focus on that one thing if it's not important to you. Right. So for Bernie Sanders, even Elizabeth Warren is also one of those people who have expanded because before she was talking about uh, addressing education and addressing health care. Now it's time she's health care, education, um, a livable wage, um, how parents can pay for child care. She's expanding it and I think a lot of polit uh, politicians are trying to do that. Yeah. They're trying to say that this is important, this is what I can do. I think for Kamala, she's like, this is my real thing, but I'm also going to, you know, kind of make it a little bit more broad than specific because if you're not a student, you don't care about student loans. Right. And if you have money, you don't really care about health care as much. Mm -hmm. So that's the only two things that Bernie got going for him, you're like, why would I vote for Bernie? Well, see, here's the thing. What right? about immigration? Who are what the, about legal, you know, the justice reform? What about the three people? And, 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 and pol pollution? What has Bernie said about the EPA? Well, well, no, I, he, he's, I, he's I, a I big, big proponent for climate change, too. I could take Bernie yeah. for four years. If I could definitely take Bernie for four years. If he's going to get rid of my, uh, what you call it, my student rash. loans. Uh -oh. What? <laughs> nah, that's incurable. Um, but student loans. I was, I was talking about the 45 rash. Right? Oh, oh, my bad. Yeah. yeah. Huh? Student loans. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, his stuff is really good with the student loans. The only thing is, I think he's had some competition from what, the stuff that I did follow. Like stuff I followed the first debate. I think Elizabeth Warren is amazing. She I did. Is. I didn't she like it. I didn't like how she announced. I don't like. Let me be fair. I don't like her personality. Mm -hmm. okay. That's um, that's I, that's one thing she, that's hurting her. Though. She she's she's awkward, and there's nothing wrong with that. 
the thing about her is that she tries not to be awkward. I prefer her to be herself. When I'm, she did the, the video where she announced that she was running and they had the thing with her in the kitchen with her husband, <laughs> it didn't seem, it wasn't, it wasn't natural. Mm -hmm. And it was kind of weird when she got shut down. He, she was like, oh, do you want a beer, honey? And he was like, no, I'm good. And then he smacked her on the butt. I mean, he, she smacked him on the butt and he looked surprised like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> like, no, just be yourself. If you're awkward and quirky, just be that. Be that. So we can, you know, we can just relate to you on that, the people who can. Because people will, will gravitate to your authentic self. Right. Or if they don't, then they don't. You get, you know, an Andrew Yang situation where maybe you need to be somebody's running mate. Then primary, that's okay, though. As long as you stay authentic and real. And the thing I like about her is her policies, much like Andrew Yang, mm -hmm. she has detailed policies. You go to the website. She's done the math, too, about things that could work if we buy in. And it sounds sensible and doable. And that is the other caveat that I have or the other issue I have with Bernie. Bernie, last time around, it's not much different than Bernie this time around. Right. Um, he talks about all these things he wants to do. Things yeah, but it's more like, like I told you, I told you you should have voted for right. me before. Which is great though. Don't vote for me now. But this is the issue. Yeah. This is the issue why people didn't vote for him before. I didn't vote for Bernie before. <laughs> Bernie's ideas sound amazing. I never people seen, don't I never seen realistic. it. I never seen the map on it. Right. I've never seen the numbers. He talks about going to his website, I think, for the healthcare, which he probably has been working on, but he, the thing about him too, he's talking about taxing the rich. But here's the thing. I he, think he, he talks about taxing enough. the rich. He talks about taxing the rich at a higher percentage, right? Most of the people who give money to political campaigns are the rich. You're not going to get everybody on board with that. Right. However, right. but the thing is, he's but he's, but he's received Warren, said, you know so what? many donations right. from people that are not that is big great. corporations, right. and he still has probably the most right. donations out of all of them. But when it comes to votes, how many? When it comes to votes, when it comes, when it comes to, to votes, when it, when it comes to votes, when it comes to the polls, the richest people, which sounds great. It sounds great, guys. It sounds great. We talked about billionaires versus millionaires. Mm -hmm. Billionaires have a lot of power. But he has support. The thing is, Bernie Sanders has support from both sides when it comes to a lot of the polls. Yeah. Oh. You know what I'm saying? Oh. Are we still looking at those? No, no, no. I'm, I'm, just, I'm just putting that out there. But then, But I think Bernie is smart enough to surround himself with people that can help him with stuff that he may not be familiar with. Put it, let me ask you this. Who are the three people right now you could say will destroy Trump on that debate stage? Because I know Bernie is definitely one of them. Kamala Harris. I know Kamala Harris could probably prosecute the hell out of him. And Joe Biden. I don't know if Joe Biden could get it off. Joe Biden gets far away. I mean, Joe Biden has gotten into some trouble. He's gotten into some past. But he what's gets, the stop from? Yo, if you got the pre if you have Obama saying, bro, Joe, don't do this. Yeah. I don't know if that's a good look for him. Yeah. Because he's been known on certain during certain times of the day to stumble with what he says. And it's bad that people surround you are like, yeah, he's good during this time of the day, but not during this time of the day. Because when it comes to being the president, mm -hmm. you're the president 24 seven. So oh. we can't afford somebody like that so, to have moments. So, so check this out. When you say moments, what do you mean? Do you say he's not fit mentally? Because I don't worry about that. He's old. I don't worry about that. With Joe Biden, I think that he's gonna be capable enough and I'm not judging the uh, right now. We're at a point where we're judging candidates based on themselves individually, right? Mm -hmm. But I'm still already looking to the future. Okay. I already know that if, if Kamala Harris ends up being the um, the uh, Democratic um, candidate, the primary Democratic candidate, then she's going to have to have a damn good running mate because she's black. Really and good mate. running mate, right? Cool. So I get that. Uh, for Bernie Sanders. You're definitely going to have a good running mate, too. You're old. I look at age. I look at the fact that you may not go a whole four years. And that's okay. I need someone capable to be the VP. They would have to become president, right? Cool. Sorry, I guys. Thank you. So the other thing that I look at is for, for Joe Biden. Okay, Joe Biden gets elected. That's cool. You're worried about his mental state? Okay. The difference is that it's not the same administration that it is now. In this current administration, if they don't believe that he's fit, they're going to keep him in there anyway because we represent him. Democrats are completely different. They don't care. Joe Biden is not fit. They're going to get him out. And, so, 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 and check this out. If Joe Biden runs, right, and you're worried about Joe, if Joe Biden runs and he says, you know what? Andrew Yang is going to be my VP. Right. You still worry about Joe? <sighs> I still kind of am. Why? I still kind of am. Because, Why? like you said, Andrew Yang, the personality, mm -hmm. right? But this he's, is him. He needs a bit of help. Okay. And yeah, but this is him as VP. If they didn't stay, that would have been real interesting. Oh, there. oh nice. Yeah. <laughs> I would turn the camera. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you All think right. about it? Um, 
But yeah, man. Um, I don't know. So uh, this is this is in the event that Joe Biden gets elected as president, right? And you're worried about his mental state, right? People around him, if they worry about him, they will get him out. Right. They will respectfully have him phase out, and they'll bring your boy Andrew Yang in. So you're still gonna be worried because now Andrew Yang is president, at least for a little bit before reelected. Hmm. You see what I mean? That's so the whole so thing. Is that a lot of value is not right now, but there's gonna get to a point where we progress, <laughs> where a lot of value is gonna be put on your VP. Especially if you're an older candidate, right? You know, when Hillary ran, it was really important for her to choose a, a, a best. So, 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 was too safe. But, so, you know. are you saying that Biden would do a better job against Trump on the debate stage than than Bernie? Is that what you're saying? Yes, I think so. The thing oh, about no. Bernie. So, the thing about Bernie Sanders, I think that we we tend to kind of miss. Bernie Sanders doesn't have a lot of zingers. You think he does? But it's only because he's the loudest person on the stage. <laughs> and he's, he'll say something with the intent. His hands right. and whatnot. We'll make or you believe it. something. He's not telling anything. I like a cheese sandwich. <laughs> uh, a rye. You're just like. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> this guy knows how to take care of business. <laughs> this guy knows how to take care of business. Oh, man. But I think that. You, you don't know, know if the cheese is going to be good. Yeah. I know. Like, I cut the damn cheese. <laughs> right? And I think that was cool of what he said, though, during that point, in that past when he said, I wrote the damn bill, to basically discredit the other guy. You don't know what you're talking about. I wrote the bill. I know the details. You can check it out. Yeah. Don't sit up here and lie on me. Mm -hmm. But other than that part, what was the other line that he had from that debate? You're wrong. That's, remember, that's, remember, that's, remember, that's, that's when they started, that's, when they started that's, spraying. They were like, yo, um, so what are your thoughts on blah, 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 blah? You're wrong. All right, and then he got a huge applause from just that. <laughs> so this is the thing, though. So he goes into a debate with Trump. Right. Is that going to be his default? No. He's going to go with I'm you're sure. wrong. You don't. Let know. me tell you something. He's been ready to debate Trump since last election. So he's so, been ready. So compare that to Kamala Harris, how she dismantled Joe Biden in such an art. Just it, it was such but a my, my, my worry. A my worry was Kamala. Way. She told a story about a little girl. And then revealed. And we were like. Oh, okay. Okay. girl. That should reveal that her. girl with me. No, that's good. That's good. <laughs> that was really good. And here's the thing. The thing I worry about when it comes to her, because if you saw her on the second debate, mm -hmm. when that, uh, what's, the, what's the lady's name? The other lady that called her out on her stuff. Um, you know what I'm talking the about. The blonde called lady? Called her out. Um, the blonde lady or the, or the vet? The brunette? The, the, the vet. The vet. The vet. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, when she called her out on some of the things that she did that was questionable on her record. Yeah, yeah, as a prosecutor. You saw Kamala was visibly upset. Yeah. I feel like she might get too emotional because you know Trump will say things that are completely outlandish. Yeah. He will. Yeah. You need to hold your composure when he does that. Because, right, she went into defense mode mm -hmm. and after that she was not as, as vocal the rest of the debate. Yeah, so Ford, I'm not worried about that as much because all we're doing right now is really practice. She hasn't been on this stage before, right? right? So these debates are essentially practice. Right. And she went up against somebody who's smart enough to ask those questions. Uh, Trump is not going to do that. Trump is going to make sexist comments and personal things that I don't think she'll respond to because I think she's used to that. Mm -hmm. I don't think she's used to the articulate stuff, the stuff that I've already fact-checked and I'm telling you this is what you did. Mm -hmm. Trump's not going to do that. Mm -hmm. He's probably going to do stupid stuff like he's going to get the facts and then he's just going to be like, so uh, what about all those people you just what he, what he tends to do? He's going to, he's going to dummy it and clowning it up where she's just going to be like, listen, this is what I did yeah. compared to what you did. I think she's in that situation. She won't be. What, what Trump tends to do is I see you. he'll say most people. He'll never cite his sources. He'll say, oh, people are saying. It. Yeah. He'll never say who those people are. Mm -hmm. He'll just say people are saying this, people are saying that without having to explain where his sources are coming from. Yeah. And then that way he, he takes it off of himself because if somebody says that's incorrect, he could easily say, oh, well, that's what they told me. Right. Or that's what you said. Like, that's not what I said. Right. I said people said that. Yeah. Right. So I said people are saying. So help me end up getting on this. Well, yeah, we're, if we were following politics. <laughs> well, I, I said that because, because, uh, Joe, because Biden. Of Joe Biden and the poor kids are just as bright as talented kids coming in. So I didn't get to check that. Is that confirmed? That's yeah, confirmed. Yeah, no, at least said that. <laughs> and he said... We're 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 going. We're choosing truth over facts. So this is the thing about Joe Biden um, so far. So among all of the candidates, Joe Biden is one of the more centrist. He's more in the middle. 
you know, he has the pedigree, has the legacy, the history. People know Joe. Mm -hmm. You know, he looked. Cory look, look, Booker he, was messing with him on right. that because he was like, you can't be like, you know, riding Obama's coattails at one point and then just and then just kind of separate yourself in other situations. Yeah. Uh, you can't have it in both ways, Cory. But, but yeah, you don't so, like Cory Booker. Do you like Cory Booker? <laughs> do, you, do, you, do you know anybody who likes Cory Booker? And I'm not saying I, dis hey, I hey, dislike hey, look, him. Look, I'm not um, saying I dislike him. I just I don't I can't something of Rosario something, Dawson tends to like him. something about him. I can't you know I don't feel the connection. I don't feel the I didn't, authenticity. I didn't like, was he the one who used the Kool Aid line? Yeah. 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 yeah I didn't like that. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, don't, don't even know, know the flavor. <laughs> <laughs> That's how he said. And, and it's not yeah, even like his voice. It's just something about him doesn't feel authentic. And that's what everybody that's, says. And I yeah. feel it. I don't. I don't feel like I can really believe you like that. And you're gonna get the job done. Yeah, nah. But going into it, it looked like even before Joe Biden announced, we were like, please announce, please. You can take care of this. He'll be unfortunately white savior situation, right? Um, and then. He announces, and then everything since then has been really awful. Um, and I'm very concerned, because I do still feel like at the beginning he was the best candidate, even going through the first debate where he messed up, and the second debate. Or, or but, when, but when but over he would cut himself gets, off? Yeah, but over like, time. Oh, I'm, I'm out of time. Mm -hmm. Let me, let me yeah. <laughs> but over time, he gets progressively worse, and I worry about him splitting the votes and all of the votes being splintered. Because we don't really have a clear, we don't have a, a clear leader. Joe Biden, as you can see from the polls, he consistently seems to be the winner, but his percentages go down a little by little when he says stuff like right. this. Mm -hmm. And I feel like it's going to get to the point where he's going to have to drop out and we're going to need somebody because if we don't establish a strong candidate, Democrats are not going to win. No. Yeah. We, we need, need somebody that we, we know. We need somebody that has Joe, a good policy. Joe, he was the strongest one. Right. He was a Joe. Yeah. Stop this shit. Or you need to drop out and you need to put it behind somebody else. And I think that the, the important thing is becoming a duo. Has he I think we need to look at this. Is he off schedule? It might be. Oh, taking his right. vitamins? He's probably off schedule. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. He should be sleeping more. <laughs> get, get the nine hours. Get the century. Right. <laughs> Gotta speed this up, gentlemen. Uh, that debate talk, man. That was. Yeah. Aggressive, intense. <laughs> um, okay, so a TV man. Guy sneaks into people's front porches at night and leaves old style tube TVs for them to find the next day. Did Please you see the video? Explain that. <laughs> Yo, did you see the video? I did. How do you hear that headline and not see the video? I, I had to see it in action, man. I, I, bars, I, right? Bars. Bars. Yo. bars. <laughs> Total world sub, man. This Yo. might be the new. This might be the newest superhero. Yo, so you got this dude, man. And he literally, he has a TV on his head, and he comes up, he comes on your porch, and he brings you a TV. Big TV, like a big heavy TV? A big TV, like old style, two, two. television. <laughs> but they work. So, it, it's, like, it's like trespass, <laughs> but yeah. at the same time. But, then, but, but, but do you but think it's a trespass? I was going to say, do you charge Santa Claus for trespassing? Right. He's that's, leaving. That's funny, because that's what they call him. They call him TV Santa Claus. He's, that's yeah. basically what he is. And I mean... I, 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 how mad are you waking up and you find a TV on your porch? Let alone when it actually works. Yeah, works. You know, for me, I have mixed feelings. I'd be like a little nostalgic, like, hey, buddy, yes, I haven't seen you in a while. But then I'd be like, it's a message. Right. <laughs> yeah. I see you, I'm watching you. Like, <laughs> something, right? I'm still doing getting my guns. Why isn't it black and white? Yeah. <laughs> it's a subliminal. What, what is this? What is this? And on the other hand, I'd just be like, I got throw this away. <laughs> right. <laughs> like, what do I take? Something like this. Garshman ain't gonna pick this up. I don't got both day around here. <laughs> the video is wild, man. The video is probably the best. I would imagine. Yeah. And unfortunately, I, from what I've seen, they don't have a motive yet. Yeah. No. Nope. It's just. And he waved at one of the, the ring cameras. He's just like. <laughs> Yo, like. So. So. Trespassing would be the charge, right? Because he's not is really doing anything. If somebody called the police on him, so it's like, is it trespassing if I go to your house and I deliver a package you didn't order? Yeah. Is it? Yeah. I'm a delivery man, though. But you're not supposed to be at my house. I'm a delivery man. I, he's supposed to be at your house. I'm supposed they're to be at your house. He delivers I'm stuff. Delivering to your house. Who you deliver from? Huh? Does it matter? <laughs> yeah. Is that the law? That matters. I'm delivering from a TV shop, a TV repair shop. Oh, you didn't order this? I'm sorry. <laughs> Yeah, right. Sorry, not nah, sorry. Drive off in a Corolla. Like <laughs> yeah, right. Somebody, somebody show up in your place with a brand new PS3. 
Not not a PS4. <laughs> not a PS5. PS3. Are you upset? You know what I'm saying? I'm, like, I'm fine. Especially, yeah. Especially if they drop it off without no controls. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. Now I'm upset. Right. What the fuck am I supposed to do with this? Man. Yo, those TVs have cords? They have cords, right? Because they. Nah, you just no, it was, it was, a, it was the better. RCA. Oh, not even. It was coaxial. Yo, you know oh, what's fucked up, though? Money is, right? He didn't bring remotes. It's not even. That's even more fun. He didn't bring it remote. Real, it's it's real old ass TV. <laughs> so you can't even get a universal to program to this old Probably TV. Not. Nope. It's a get up situation. So could that be classified as a prank? That's abuse. <laughs> That's assault. It is. That's it's like crazy. a psychological warfare. Or what if what if oh what if his motive is to get Americans to work out more? So to move the TV? And you have to get up and change the channel right. time. That's what we're gonna do. I don't know, do we do this on Twitter or we got this on Instagram? I want us to go ahead and put a post to see people's ideas on what the motive is. I want us to all think of a motive and okay. everybody just keep okay. messaging that. This is the motive, okay. this is the motive. I'm gonna go with, I think that he's trying to convert people from the HD flat <laughs> TV to go back to the tubes. Because 8K is just ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> Too many colors, it's, it's, it's death. <laughs> Somebody in my fucking living room. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Brandon. Oh, <laughs> so how about the research that found that dolphins use puffer fish to get a euphoric feeling, a.k.a. high as bird shit? Yeah, I feel like I heard this before. Is this a real thing? Yeah, yeah, apparently it is a real thing. So what do they do? They blow it with the... Well, it's, the doors they, they either attack them or they eat them. Puffer fish, they lit off and... Uh, I guess not. A, I guess it's an, it's an endorphin mm -hmm. or some type of defense mechanism, type like, of like octopus or they, you know, yeah. whatever, whatever. Yeah. So with this one, I guess it's supposed to scare predators or make predators sick. But for dolphins, they get high. Dolphins say no. <laughs> they get high off of them, so they attack them purposefully so that it will release this this gas or whatever the fuck it is, and they get high off. Them. Tell me they have. A I haven't seen video. I don't see it. <laughs> I haven't seen video. You'd be like, see, we're over. Instead of they did something, he's just laying. Like, <laughs> 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 Blow a smoke out of his hole. It's a whole kind of shit. So we got dolphins doing drugs. Yeah, okay. man. I mean, I, I think it's just, the animal kingdom is just amazing. Dolphins, they're just intelligent, man. They figure out ways to get high. It just goes to show you it's part of nature. And yeah. They, you know, yeah. sometimes you get a little picky up. Yeah, I, I you know dolphins rape, right? I've heard that. Yeah. <laughs> All right, G. <laughs> no, I'm just saying that dolphins are as cute as they are. They're very dark. Yeah, it's crazy. No, not at all. Uh, not at all. Actually, I'm not gonna lie. I saw videos of some of these attempted assaults. You definitely got in there. You know those? I, yeah, oh, you, oh, yeah. I, I've seen it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to been there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You did. It's funny because the people start laughing first. <laughs> so you realize. I think it's that, it's that real life thing when you're nervous, like someone touch your leg. It's like, ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you realize that you're in danger. <laughs> oh, shit. <It's> <laughs> help, help. <laughs> That's wrong. <laughs> That's wrong. <laughs> and I'm <laughs> It's pretty bad. Um, all right, so what about this mother who was arrested for having her son undergo 13 surgeries that were not necessary for his health? Dude, yeah. dude, I had to check on it. I had to get the details of this. That's that's bad. That's really bad. Yeah, that's past hypochondriac, right? That's <clears throat> not yet. And then, how do, and then yeah. as a doctor, right? <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking, huh, okay, I understand the mom got issues. Right? How is you the doctor was like, you know what, I don't no, I don't, I don't detect the fever. You still want this code in? <laughs> no, uh, you're probably right. Just to prevent it, right? Just yeah, right. prevention. That's yeah, it. Yeah. Well, maybe, maybe they weren't doctors at all. Maybe they were PAs that they were getting these prescriptions from. No, well, well these are surgeries. Yeah, these are physical surgeries. surgeries. So, like... 13 actual physical surgeries. Man, we didn't talk about the drugs. We should have <laughs> tons more drugs. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. That's ridiculous. 13 years old? It was like 324 <laughs> procedures. <clears throat> Medical, what are they called? Medical visits? That's insane. Recently. That's insane. I can't even, like, I don't comprehend it. It's ridiculous. You said it's a, it's a rare psychological disease. Mm. It's a, is it Munchausen? Munchausen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. 
parents nah, make their, their, their kids sick on purpose in order to get the attention, mm -hmm. which I think is awful. Mm -hmm. I feel bad for that kid. I hope they're going to be all right. Like, how do you... 13 surgeries? I don't live after that. Either that or he's going to be bionic. I hope it's the bionic. Yeah, bionic. Right. Like, hopefully. He's going to be like the world's greatest athlete. <laughs> <laughs> the world's greatest athlete. Nine years old. McKenzie away. What, 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 what you do the first? <laughs> <laughs> Nine years old with a vasectomy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, lightning round, peoples. Yep. All right. Um, Giannis coming to America themed sneakers. Yeah. Yeah. You got to be fired. Uh, you know, I thought that. <laughs> so, so it's weird. It, I wasn't sure if it was genius or awful, Mark. Okay. You know, because first, you know, Giannis is um, a Greek national, but his family is from Africa. Yep. Right? All right, cool. I get that. Um, coming to America. Africans coming from Africa, yeah, coming right. to America, New York, right? Yeah. Okay, cool, cool. So there's that. <laughs> <laughs> you can see it from that perspective. Okay, good marketing, cool, cool, cool people. Right? The other thing is, is mm, it's kind of like I don't, I don't say exploiting, but you know, it's like, oh, you're African. This is African. Let's put you two together. Like, oh, you're black. There's some J's over there. Like, mm -hmm. No, not every black person likes J's. 90% of us, not all of us. Uh, yeah, but he's, he, he, it's like, he's hey, German, though. He, he goes, he's Greek. Greek, yeah, you're, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah they could have yeah. done a spin on that. It would have been cool if they did one coming to America sneaker and one some sort of Greek thing, like gyro or something. Mm. Hmm. Is that racist? That wasn't racist, right? Because they know him for gyros. It's more of a regional thing, though. Are they? Yeah. Is he going to put a gyro on a sneaker? Yeah. I love, I love gyro. On a sneaker? I mean, I don't. What are the colors? What are the you colors? Can the, you can put the, the color away. You can put the, the ancient what's name? What's the, the color? ancient room? Is it just African colors or is it what for Greek? Greece? No, the, for the shoe. For the shoe. Oh no, it's like a picture. <laughs> yeah, the colors are African though. The colors are African. Yeah, hmm. yeah. Hmm. Is that? I'm so. curious what that uh, <clears throat> how that concept meeting went. Like it was. Just... <laughs> Apparently, I guess they're rolling it out. I guess he co-signed it because they made it. Unless there was a prototype. I was yeah. That's great. Yeah, I guess we said how it goes. <laughs> so you picking up a pair or what? I might, if it's dope. No. I like coming to America. Mm. Yeah. I got people in Africa, from Africa. Unfair treatment of white people. That's a nice transition so, since we were talking about Africa. Absolutely. So for all of you <clears throat> who listen to the podcast, remember, last time we had a podcast, I had this story. I was itching to get it out. Couldn't find it. For the life of me, I couldn't find it. And I think it was really important. So this is going to be the rare occasion where we we'll bring something old, but spark up some new thought. So there is a rapper called Tiny Jack. You familiar? Tiny, yeah. Tiny Jack? Never, no? never, heard, never heard of Tiny, Tiny Jack. Jack. Okay. So <coughs> the rapper whose real name is Jillian Graham. Jillian Graham? Okay. No, no, no. no. Okay. So she is pulling out of a festival. Wait, she? So it's a female, it's a female. named Tiny Jack. Tiny Jack. Oh, so Jack. 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 Oh, Jack. Oh, Jack. Yeah. Tiny Jack. He said Jack. Yeah. Yeah. So she is pulling out of a festival. The festival um, is created by uh, black people. Mm -hmm. Festival, I think it's in the Carolina. Let me make sure, mm -hmm. I, make sure I get the rest of it. So she's going to be pulling out of this festival. Let me make sure I get it right here. Mm -hmm. uh, Afro that. Future Fest. Uh -huh. So this is probably old. This is back in July. Mm -hmm. All right. So she pulled out of the Afro Future Festival. Because she found out that non-brown people are getting charged. being charged more. Yep. So yeah. a ticket for a brown person is ten dollars. So what's the problem? A ticket for a non-brown person, twenty white people, is twenty. Mm -hmm. What's the problem? So let's start with that. What is the problem? It's Afro. What was it called? Future. Afro future. Future fest. Yeah. Fest. So the reason the sponsors behind it talked about doing it that way is that um, it's essentially, um, I don't want to say it's like a reversal uh, of the prejudice that African Americans have faced, mm -hmm. uh, but essentially that's kind of what it's like. It's like reversing it where not normally uh, black and brown people pay more. Mm -hmm. You know, we have to go the hard way about things. And so they, they kind of reversed it um, in a way to pay respect to brown people mm -hmm. and for white people to to pay more, yeah. mm -hmm. to kind of flip it, right? Yeah, if it is 10 bucks, the 10 bucks increase, right. afford it. Okay. Um, for her, the issue is that she has um, biracial family. Mm 
think she herself is, is biracial. She has white family members. Oh, so she got to be 30. 10 for the same. Ten for the same. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay, gotcha. So that was her issue because her family, um, who I guess she identifies because, you know, they're a biracial family or a mixed culture family that, um, excuse me, a mixed race family that, you know, they get it. They're with the struggle, they're my family, they have love, they respect the culture, they shouldn't have to pay more. She thought that was right. Mm -hmm. and I thought this was interesting because I'm wondering if this is one of those things that uh, people who are biracial deal with, the conflict of not necessarily loyalties, but like where you fit. You know what I mean? Because they don't quite fit one place and they don't quite fit the other. Whereas I wonder if that's what they're thinking because, damn, that's messed up. Like, you my brother, me and you go to a concert, right? Yeah. And because you light skin and shit, they charge you $20. Mm. And I get like, damn, how come, you know, that's not, that's not fair, mm. as I know it. Mm. But in the grand scheme of things, not you, but your light-skinned brother trying to shame mm. dark-skinned brothers back in the 90s. Mm. Is that what happened? You know what I mean? So, so in the grand scheme, <clears throat> it's not a problem. You but, got bars second guess <laughs> this. But <laughs> personally, <laughs> no, it's just a damn it's just, Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, but, but personally, <clears throat> I know you're not like that, and that hurts me personally as I know. Mm. But in the grand scheme... Nothing for nothing, you know, slavery happened. Mm -hmm. And it may not have been your cousin. It may not have been your father. And, you know, they probably were part of the, the abolitionists that were helping. Mm -hmm. But they're not the only ones. The vast majority you got the lineage. You know what I mean? Right, right. So I thought that that was really interesting. And it made me think about what we think about fairness. And, um, yeah. Yeah, I wasn't sure how to feel about so it. This, so since we're talking about fairness, and we can incorporate it in this conversation as well, how do you feel about the whole LGBTQ history being taught in Illinois public schools? <clears throat> Personally, I'm all right with it, man, because I believe that knowledge is power. Mm -hmm. I think that we need to learn about things that are in our world today um, so we know how to handle it. So we can choose and decide and have real power over what we do with the information, opposed to not having it, and you know, stuff getting out of control. Well, how do you feel? Okay, so how do you feel? <coughs> so <coughs> it's more acceptable for them to do LGBTQ history before including or implementing Black history in public school. So I actually because there there's been a, there's a lot of pushback. So not by comparison. By comparison, I think not just, um, well, yeah, black history, African history, mm -hmm. um, even going back over there, I think that should be there. I think it should have been there this whole time. Right. It's, it's part of America. Mm -hmm. It's in the, uh, uh, the 1619 Project. It's, it's rooted in the beginning, so that should already have been there, and that should already be a staple part of it. I don't think there should be American history and black history. I think they need to be, there needs to be, you know, American history and we need to incorporate all of these important <clears throat> pivotal parts of black history, African right. history. Um, not just the slavery, the good stuff too. Mm -hmm. um, the stuff that happened before slavery, the stuff that happened, you know what I mean? Right. Um, as far as for the LGBTQ thing though, the only thing I would say, and I'm a huge proponent of this always, whenever we talk about things being introduced to kids, new concepts, things that we're dealing with, hard stuff, abortion, uh, mostly the LGBTQ stuff because it's new. And parents got to be parents. You, you, you got to, if you're going to have kids, you've got, to, you've got to, to find a way to make the time to be present. And I don't say that just from someone who doesn't have kids and understand the struggle of you work, you're sitting in other <coughs> words, maybe you're only parent, only dad, only mom, and it's hard. But you've got to find a way to be in your kids' lives to mold them. You can't leave it up to strangers, mm -hmm. even if it's a trusted institution like a school. So if you, you, your kid goes to school like dare. Your kid goes to school and learns about the D.A.R.E. program, drugs or whatnot. You can still have a conversation. Hey, what you doing in school today? Oh, we learned about the D.A.R.E. program already. Oh, tell me what you learned. What do you know about drugs? You know? Yeah, heroin's awful. Maybe when you're 18, we'll try weed. Just whatever you do as a parent. You know what I mean? But you have to have that extra point of understanding what they learn. And you may have to curtail it. The same thing that we talk about with, uh, with um, uh, black history being taught in schools. A lot of black kids come back from school thinking that black history is just slavery. Mm -hmm. yeah. And they kind of rebuke it, like, no, I'm not a slave. And, you know, or, try or, to or, or, or famous black, black figures because... getting assassinated. Right. And I think that that's part of the, the education at home. Yeah. yeah. No, um, I'm not opposed to 
uh, you know, LGBTQ history. I feel like they skip black history because there's no happy ending yet. And you the know. story's still being told. Yeah, the yeah. yeah. story's still yeah. being told. You know I mean? So you catch it a good part where there's progress. Right, right. Um, you know, and <clears throat> to do black history, I think we will reveal a lot about American, American history. Um, parts that they don't want to talk about, mm -hmm. you know. Um, with the LGBTQ, it's a little bit more broader and it still caters to white people. It still caters to white people. It's not so much a minority thing. It, it's still going to cater to white people. Unless you're a black I guarantee you. Yeah. Well, they're, 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 they're probably black. not going to address the race part. Exactly. And, yeah, and they'll only address and the... Will, and will they, will they do studies on the gay, the gay minorities? Yeah. Yeah, because it is, it is socially different. You know? the, the, or, or, or is it, it going to be the, the, the Versace's, the Johnny mm -hmm. Versace's, you know, uh, fucking Tommy Hilfiger. Or, mm -hmm. or, like, I mean, is he gay? He might not be gay. He doesn't like black people. Well, we know he's um, racist. <laughs> 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 but yeah, any any prominent uh, gay figure um, of the Caucasian ethnicity, I feel like, is what they would target, or what they'll you know, or they'll highlight that. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm. And as far as white people having to pay more for a concert, no, it's not fair. It's not fair, but so what? <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's an excellent closing statement. Right that's an excellent closing statement. All, right. uh, all right, so lighten the mood a little bit with these two topics here. Uh -huh. Marvel was in Nova. I mean, Nova was in um, Endgame. Yeah. From, from Marvel's Endgame. Yeah, did you hear about this? I heard about it, but I heard it was debunked as well. Yeah? Yeah. Might have been. I couldn't tell from the article if they were being sarcastic or not. Like, the article at the beginning reads like it's fact, Gizmodo. Mm. So mm. at the beginning it reads like it's fact, but then they start to play with it and doctor photos at the end. So I wasn't sure if the whole thing, <laughs> you know, it kind of got weird. So I wasn't really sure, but um, yeah, so we actually confirmed that it was fake. Yeah, they confirmed it was fake. Oh, okay, all right. all right. The writers and directors confirmed it was fake. Oh, okay. Because they have a separate storyline that they're developing for Nova anyway. Mm. Yeah. Because in Infinity War, he was already on Thor's ship. He left Nova's planet to get to Thor's ship. So there's a whole part of the story we didn't see that will be explored in a later yeah. later. Oh, okay, so they wouldn't spend the yeah. Okay. <clears throat> they didn't want to like shortchange Nova's story. Gotcha. Um, Disney! Disney Plus! Yeah. Disney Plus is a monster. Yeah. You heard about the packages and the bundles that they're creating. The ESPN, the ESPN, Hulu, Hulu Disney Plus bundle, bucks a month. 14, bucks 14 bucks a month, and you get all three? Yeah. So it's Hulu, Hulu, ESPN, 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 and Disney Plus. Disney Plus. In one bundle for 14 something. Mm. Yeah. That's what you're paying for Netflix now by itself. Is it? Yes. That's what, that's what people pay. That's what people pay? Yeah, yeah. People who pay. That's, yeah. that's what they pay. Mm. Thank God I got good friends with uh, the. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. People still paying their bills. <laughs> yeah, I appreciate it. Still paying their bills, right? You know they're trying to buckle down on that, right? Account sharing? Yeah. Yep. That's what they're doing. Uh, when they do that, then I'll move on too. Speaking of that, <laughs> when we off here, I'm going to talk about Soul Patch. I got I to gotta, I gotta roast that. <laughs> <laughs> but yo, but Disney Plus, they're dropping, uh, they're dropping a Moon Knight series. Mm -hmm. They're dropping a Miss Marvel series. Mm -hmm. They're dropping a She-Hulk series. Hulk. And then they just released uh, some footage from the animated series What If. Yep, with the zombie cap. Yeah, with yeah. zombie cap, with Captain America, Agent Carter. That's going to be interesting. Yeah. With Iron Man, Steve Rogers. Yeah. It's gonna be, so it's going to be something serious. Speaking of while we're on it, though, what's, how do you feel about this Kevin Feige thing? Oh, you're talking about with Sony? Yeah. So I, this, is this only? It's not like Kevin Feige. Feige. It's not Kevin Feige. It's a Sony Marvel thing. Apparently, from what I'm understanding, Disney got a little greedy. They worked out a deal where I think Mar uh, Marvel got like 5% mm -hmm. of all revenue made from the movie, but then they kept all residuals from merchandising, oh. right? And then Sony keeps everything else. Mm -hmm. So I guess Disney approaches them and goes, hey, listen, we, we, we got a new deal. We want a little bit more money. Sony goes, okay, you want more money? How much we talk? Mm -hmm. 10 more percent? 15 more percent? 
Oh, Marvel goes, we want a 50-50 partnership plus whatever we already have. Mm -hmm. Sony was like, oh, hell no. Mm -hmm. We're not doing that. And I understand that Sony is responsible for pushing a lot of the money. Disney has the creative side, and Marvel, of course, has the, the product. And they come, Disney but, and Marvel come right. in and make but the product. Marvel wanted, but Marvel wanted money. 50 50 percent in terms of and financing and everything, right. so then they could get everything they're already getting plus more. Plus, like you're going from five percent mm -hmm. to fifty percent, and not front and So now, so now you're basically taking majority ownership yeah. of a Sony property. Right. Yes, it's a Marvel character. Mm -hmm. But it's a Sony property, right. and now, and, and not to mention, it's their most successful Sony property, uh, surpassing um, James Bond. Yeah. Yep. And now you're gonna go and you're going to give fifty percent of that to another company. Yeah. That's why Sony's like, nah, I think we're good. So what does that mean, though? So is is this only affecting Spider-Man? This is only affecting Spider-Man. Yeah. Oh, okay. Everything else is, is left on But Spider-Man is a huge piece in the MCU. Very huge piece. Yeah. You know. Especially with the way it was left on. Yeah. Yeah. So mm. it's going to be interesting to see uh, how they how they do. Yeah. I heard there's a lot of people boycotting. Talk, well, they are talking about how they plan on boycotting. Yeah, they're really some people, 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 people got different opinions on how they that, that's the only That's the only thing I could think that would you know change it is they would have to make Spider-Man tank. Any Spider-Man movie projects or whatever from Sony, they would have to tank. So what do you do? You do that though. Well, that puts Sony, pressure. That's Sony pressure. Believes, that puts pressure on Sony. No, but listen, Sony believes they can move on with Spider-Man without Marvel. They definitely can because they have Venom, they have Morbius, they have all these other Spider-Man problems. They have the Sinister Six. So how does development. How, so how does that work? Are you saying that? So who owns the ability to create? Spider-Man? Create Spider-Man? Yeah. Like Spider Sony. Stories? Yeah. Sony. Sony. Sony does. Yeah. Okay, so they can do it. Yeah. So what, so the, this issue is that... The fact that there'll be no more Spider-Man. There'll, be, there'll be no more Spider-Man in the Marvel oh, Cinematic that, Universe yeah. in Marvel Studios. Oh, gotcha. There will be no more collaboration between Sony Pictures and Marvel Studios. I got you. Kevin It'll Feige's strictly be Marvel Studios guy. Yeah. Gotcha. And now, to think of it, though... Now I'm not thinking of it, because a lot of people were saying, well, this is now an opportunity for the MCU to introduce Miles Morales. But no, that's still he's that's part still of Sony. Sony. That's still yeah, Sony. yeah, that's still Sony. So mm -hmm. not to mention Sony, you know, with uh, Into the Spider Verse, which is arguably their most successful Spider-Man film, winning an Oscar, beating out a Disney film, Incredibles. Yeah. Um, yeah. Incredibles was dope. No, it was, but Spider-Man's a universe. Spider-Man's Spider, Spider Verse weird. won the Oscar. Yeah, yeah. there's a little weird. But what I what I, what I what I would like out of this, okay, so pig. say Sony keeps Spider-Man and he's no longer part of the MCU. Cool, I'm cool with that. If they restart everything, you have to give not necessarily like give like me another reboot. Story. Yes and no. Give me a give me a reboot, not another origin story, but scrap the entire Venom series. Get rid of Venom. If and that's going to be hard. Put, if that's going to be hard put, because because Venom made them almost a billion as well. Yeah, but it could. It could and Sony's just, just looking at. Though. They can do it again. Mm -hmm. Are you talking yeah. about re restart even that? Yeah. So you because, want to remove because, him, him this, right now. Because this was a Venom world without Spider-Man. So What's you want to reintroduce it. Right, but they were going to have them cross over at one point. Yeah, at some point. But it was still a Venom world without Spider-Man. Mm -hmm. Which, that wasn't right to begin yeah. with. Because yeah. there's no Venom without Spider-Man. Period. So Venom has those abilities because it was on Spider-Man first. Exactly. So I say restart it and do that story the right way. You, you can't fail. You're right. Mm. You're right. Is yeah. it too soon to restart it though? Oh. I mean, I guess for Venom, not so much. I guess you could. Yeah. You know, you see the movie, you like it, and then it restarts, and then. But you know, we're we're holding up progress with Carnage, though. If we if we start over, but because people want to see Carnage, but we'll get it right, though. You're right. I feel like we'll have it right. Mm. That could be a series within itself, a, a world with <clears throat> Spider-Man, Venom, and Carnage. See, but the problem is, Sony is not looking at it from a creative point of view. They're looking at it from a financial. Right. Point. Yeah, Marvel's looking at it. From Marvel's looking at it from a creative yeah. point. Of view. That's the problem. It sucks. Because why does Disney want more of a stake? How does that affect? Because the they city? feel because they were responsible for Spider-Man: Far From Home hitting a billion. Yeah. Okay. They've had so if you want, so if you want more, that's cool. But you want fifty percent more. That garners fifty percent more for one project you did 
that exceeded probably what they thought it would be. Maybe they, maybe they hoped that they would have a counter offer and Sony would just be like, here. Like, you know, like when you, all, when you make an offer that's purposely too high, so then they make it, nah, that's too high, let's go with this, when this is what they were trying to get all along. So this is the thing, though. With that, if you sit there and say, you know what, I want this, right? I'm going to put this out here because I really want this. Mm -hmm. All right. You don't say, I want this. Mm. Try to fucking get this. Because no, I'm going to walk away from the table. It's not negotiating no more. Right. You want everything. Fuck that. Well, I'm thinking maybe maybe, maybe they, they did that. You know, and for Sony, you'd be like, okay, we can either walk away, or if you want to offer us something where you have the entire thing, mm -hmm. be done with it, do mm -hmm. that. Maybe Marvel just wasn't prepared for that, mm -hmm. or I don't know. It doesn't. Oh, it doesn't Sony was like, you can buy our side up? Maybe, yeah. Like, yeah that, that, would make more, that would make more sense <clears throat> yeah. than, um, like you said, to jump from 5% to 50%. Yeah. Yeah, they with a 35 or something. Yeah. Get close, 30, you know? So double it, double it, two, two and a half it, don't. Yeah, three times. Yeah. Ten, that's five times. Yeah, that's a few of that ten. Mm. Yeah. <clears throat> that's a lot. Yeah. All right. And so they announced Black Panther two. Yeah, Black Panther two. Black Panther and two. they said that Namor is gonna appear. Yep. So I'm I'm, I'm ready for that. May twenty two. Yes. Right. Right. May twenty. See, but anytime, anytime a Marvel film gets that May date, you know that it made it because they only put their biggest properties to air in May. Oh yeah. Well, that's yeah. That's gonna be a big one. So, Everybody's waiting on that. Yeah. Um. You got any, uh, I'm, I'm almost afraid to ask. Do you have any thoughts of the day? I do. I got, actually, I got a few of them. I got a few of them. Um, we're on the clock, though. We are on the clock. Uh, we got about six minutes. Good. Um, while, you, while you're looking that up, um, I should say, I just got, it, just, you good? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, no, 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 I'm going to do it later. later. I'm going to do it later. Right, right for the end. Yeah, I got you. Right for the end. All right, well, since we since we short on time, um, let me just go straight to the one that I know you guys are going to like, uh, not want to answer. So, <laughs> your wife has to play a game of seven minutes in heaven with Trump. Oh! His rules. <laughs> it's immediately a no. No, no, you have no, no choice. choice. You mean I have no choice? No, you got to finish the Your list. wife has to play a game. Why does she have to? <laughs> Go. Your wife has to play a game of seven minutes in heaven with Donald Trump. His rules, you are allowed to implement one rule only. What is that rule? Mm. No penetration of any kind. Mm, that's what you can do without penetration. So that's, that's cool. See, but here's the thing. That's a pretty solid. Here's the thing. That's a safe. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> here's, no, mouse. no, that's pretty safe. <laughs> so, here's the thing because, because what you can do? My wife could be very resistant. But it's his rules. No, uh, bro, let's let's back up. This is not a sexual assault. Let's get that clear. That's not what's going on right no, now. No, no, no. This is rules. This, yeah, this is a consensual. This, this is a semi-consensual. Exactly. Thing. Your wife is going in that closet, and she has to do what he asks her to do, except for whatever rule you implement. You say no penetration. I'm gonna tell you. Kind. I'm gonna tell you all the things that you do without penetration. <laughs> I'm calling the second the no penetration thing because I'm cool. Nothing's going inside something that I'm gonna be inside, so I'm good with that. That's cool. So you don't mind touching your wife? No, I, I, I never said I don't mind. I just said that if there was only, if there was a rule that I had to implement, there was only one rule. No penetration. No penetration. Could no touching be a rule? Could, could no touching be a rule? It could be a rule. So then, no touching. Then I take it back. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> See, hey, well, look, I didn't lock in my answer. I'm just saying. Like, so you no touching. You said it twice. I said it twice, but I didn't say final answer. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, no touching. No touching. No, no touching at all. That's cool. At all. Whatsoever. Locked in. Why am I afraid? Because it's something to do. But I'll touch it. What's up? So you mean so you mean she gonna strip? I, hey, listen, are you locked in or not? Listen, <laughs> are you locked, I'm a lock no, no touching of any kind. Alright. Great. So, yes, he can make a strip. He can make a strip, he can make a turn around, he can make a bend over, he can make a spread eagle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the face. He, he can in the face mm -hmm. and yeah, everywhere. He can make her do whatever he well he likes. You touch to with your hand, not with your chips. 
a lot that could be done. There's no touching. <laughs> I just thought about it. It's gross. Yeah. <laughs> Let me see the tonsils. You know? Rule I would implement it. <laughs> Rule I would implement it. No sexual contact. Mm, okay. So when you say no sexual contact, though, what does that mean? Like, if... Does that prevent all things sexual? Mm, sexual contact. No, he gets no beat his knee in front of her. That's he can, isn't that contact, though? No, it's not. No, it's, it's not. Nah, it's not so, contact. Well, if he so makes his knee... Wait, let me ask you something. And, and, if and, you, the, if you, and the load if, lands on her face. So let me ask you something. If, that might if, be if, you're, if you're walking, If you're walking, and you and, and somebody else cross paths, have you not made contact? Mm, I think we're I think we're saying the same word, but there's different de- definitions of it. Hmm. Like in my phone, you have a list of, in my phone I have a list of contacts. I wear contacts. contacts. If you and I make eye contact, right, right, absolutely. So what would sexual contact be? So if I was doing this, right, and just not looking at her, right? <laughs> or, or if I don't look, or if I don't make, make eye contact, right. so I'm like, you tell her to look at the wall. I'm just. That's not sexual contact? No. There's no contact being made. What contact's being made? No eye contact. She's present. And none of the specimens. Just being present doesn't make Land contact. on her it at does. all. Does, though. No, it doesn't. That's not sexual. You just said eye contact. if we pass each other and we make eye contact. If we pass it's each other. contact. No, it's not contact. If you're not passing each other, that's not contact. How's that contact? You, are you saying contact is a physical thing? You're talking I'm about saying, proximity? I, I'm you're, I think that. you're mixing up proximity I, with contact. Yeah, no, not even. Because proximity is like how close you are to somebody. That's whereas funny. contact is like, I Actually guess. touching? Oh, you know what? Because I, I can contact you. I came in contact with a spider. Man. Correct. Doesn't matter. Touched it. Correct. I was in the same place. Huh. Correct. Okay. All right. I would honestly. That's a good one. I'll, yeah. That's very you're good. Right. But I mean. Mm, you like no touching of anything. No, I did. I did. I, I'm still sticking with you. Don't touch my wife at all. That's fine. You like a beat off of yeah. not not your wife, but yeah, somebody's yeah. wife. It's gonna be Monica Lewinsky scene. That's all right. Draw a clean ticket. And what if he tells you now? Nah, when you go out there and kiss your husband, mm, that's up to her. I'm not in there, so that's I ain't doing that shit. <laughs> she can try to kiss me around all she wants to. Stiff arm like crazy. But you don't know what she was in there doing. Huh? Yeah. Like, I'm gonna assume it's all <laughs> the worst. So everything is getting scrubbed. <laughs> you taking a shower? I'm rinsing your mouth out with alcohol. You kissing after that, though? Well, I said no physical touch. So yeah, I'm okay with that. Well, you don't have to. Well, if he jizzed in her mouth. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. How long? How long before you kiss your wife? Listen, again? listen. Um, how long before you kiss your wife again? Oh god, there's gonna be so much cheek love. <laughs> there gonna be so many Eskimo kisses. <laughs> Oh, no, not the lips, not the lips. <laughs> hey. Go to thosepeople.com <laughs> for all things those people. Yeah. You want to check out more podcast episodes, we are available on all platforms. We are on Spotify, we yep. are on Radio Public, we are on Get it. iTunes, get it. we are on um, everything you could possibly think of okay, yeah. that you can get podcasts from. Yes, and also make sure to check out uh, Danger Felix. Um, it's gonna be at the Danger Felix. At the Danger Felix on Instagram. Those people was in Grenada for Carnival. Okay, okay. So okay. Uh, we posted some pictures and some videos of that. So definitely check nice, that out. Nice, nice. Oh, we get no videos. I specifically, I, I definitely mean, said I had some cold. videos I had and some pictures of um, I had a cold. Carnival activities. Yeah, I was going to, but then the next day I got a cold, so I shut everything. Bars <laughs> underscore. <laughs> It underscore is, I, I believe see. it's with a Z. That's right. Mm-hmm. Uh, the Danger Felix. Yeah. Yeah. And GQ of those people, all on Instagram. Hit us up. Follow our YouTube. All over. The main page, our individual pages. We got more content coming your way real soon. Yeah. But until then, your way. Hey, keep all supporting face. those people because when, hey, when, when you support those people, support you. It's, he said. I feel really uncomfortable and my butt cheeks clenched real tight. Mm, probably shouldn't say that. We just did the seven minutes ahead of me. Yeah, I just, I just closed face. real shut. Nope. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he said everywhere else. <laughs> Not in there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so disgusted. <laughs> I'm so disgusted with both of you. Anyway, we are out. Hey.